So blessed are your eyes for you see, for your ears for you hear, that you're able to, um, you know, a man's going to of the Lord, that you're able to even uh, be able to speak the word and actually, you know, believe in it. Well, also they call upon the name, but when you ask them, what do they mean? They don't even know what it means, they're just like, how? Yeah, yeah, and they don't even know the meaning of behind the name of Yahweh, which means he is infinite. He is the limitless. God. And that goes into the understanding. Yeah. You know, they're they're in darkness. Because when you go into your eyes, see, your ears hear, that means they're able to what? Be able to um, see it, visualize it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Believe it. Because they don't really believe it. That's why they're, they're calling on uh, different things. You know, they're okay. saying that uh, uh, Moses never departed the Red Sea, man. That's an yeah. example of uh, an unfaithful Israelite who has no understanding. Back you up on that point. This is uh, uh, this is uh, Joshua, uh, Joshua, Joshua, and Joshua. That's another uh, translation in the English, which means he's safe. That's the translation in Hebrew for Yahweh's rest. No, this is Joshua two and eight. He says, and before they were laid down, she came up unto them upon the roof, and she said unto the men, I know that your Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror is fallen upon us. He said, uh, Joshua 2, bro? Huh. I think I was speaking about the, the harlot, uh, the Ahab. Uh, Rahab. Uh, great water. Yep. Yeah. And it says, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for yeah, you. And then when uh, Joshua and Caleb were, I believe they were spying the land. Yep. Huh. Uh, it says, when she came out of Egypt. Hey, so there, there, there it is. You know, there's the, uh, the, the prime example. You know, uh, the fact that the Heavenly Father performed a, a miracle to to, uh, uh, to to allow the Israelites to, to escape out of Egypt, right there. It says, and what he did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan. Right, the Amorites are the, today are the so-called Japanese. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sihon and, and Og, whom he utterly destroyed. Right. And that was a count of a woman that was that that other other heathen nation saw yeah. the account of what what Yahweh Shem is that right. She, she acknowledged the uh, the, the power. miracles and the power of the Heavenly Father. Okay, which is you know we just read that in the Psalms one five, bro. Yeah. Go back to that preacher. Yeah. Psalms one oh five. Just before you get that, yeah, I want to read this Exodus fourteen and twenty one. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. Now how so, do you explain that? So how, yeah, how do you explain that? One body and no Yahweh shot? All right? So you telling me by the, the, the actions of the Heavenly Father is considered witchcraft? Come on, man. You bugged out. Yep. Yep. Psalms 105 and 1. Oh, give thanks to Yahweh Shem Shai. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. It says, make known his deeds among the people. And that's a, uh, an example of acknowledging. Okay, even the heathens acknowledge the power of the Heavenly Father. Whatever. Uh, keep going on that? Yeah, uh, on down to the verse, the fifth verse, right. and flowing the spirit through, through that uh, uh, chapter, Psalms 105. Yeah, I got you. And songs, no. songs or prophecies of uh, King David. Right. Psalms 105 and 2, sing unto him, sing songs unto him, talk ye of, of the wondrous work. Yeah, like in the book of Exodus, when, he, when uh, Moses was parted, you know, the, the red sea through the spirit and power of the house of God, you know, go there. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahweh by Shimei yeah, And we're seeking Yahweh by Shimei Like the brothers of Mark read right in the book of Baruch, the second chapter in the Man of captivity. Go ahead, bro. Seek the Lord Yahweh by Shimei in his strength. Seek his face evermore. Yep, and uh, when you go into the book of uh, Sirach, it goes into seek the Lord ten times more. Yep. As there was the mind to uh, far away from the truth, we'll seek him ten times more. Go ahead, bro. Says, uh, remember his marvelous works yeah, that he has done. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, go ahead. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and that judgments of the of his mouth. And, yeah, he, and who's the mouthpiece? Yeah. The, yeah. the prophets, man. Yeah. Which were the prophets, the Halabash and Al-Shah was able to magnify his name and his glory upon the heathen and upon the four winds of the earth. You want to get an example of a miracle, bro? Uh, I think you had an example in Daniel, the uh First chapter? Yeah, this is uh, Daniel 3. And it's basically what it was is uh, Abednecak, Meshach, and uh, Shazak, and they were, um, you know, basically our, our forefathers, and they were, they believed in Yahweh Bashem and Shai, and they got caught up um, by, by preaching this word. Okay, so I'm going to start from 16. Shazak, Meshach, and Abednego answered, and these are the, um, spoken about the three holy children and the apographers. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king of Nechobizir, We are not careful to answer these in, in matter. 
If so be, so our power, Yahweh, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fury furnace. He will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, but it be known unto king that we are not served the serve thy gods, not worship no golden image which thou hast set up. So the, the same things that they're trying to do right now, they're trying to have you worship what the beast image, yeah. okay? The beast images is all their philosophy. Going down there to uh, take the pragma, which is the graven image in your forehead or in your hand, okay? It's also bowing down to the beast system. So uh, a perfect example is that what happened a couple years ago when people started, they put that fear mongering about that thing, that, that, that a small thing that came out, and what did they start doing? People started running right to Esau Edom. They were trusting in men instead of trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So the the three holy children, they they weren't they were trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh They weren't they didn't want to worship the image, which is the same thing that speaks about Second Ezra 16 and 68. We're speaking about those idols because they're gonna start ha coming down with great wrath, as far as coming to uh, bringing you into these uh, internment camps. Okay, those that stood simply for the word, you know, we shall there shall be a great insurrection uh, towards the men of the Lord, right? So 19, and then was Zechabizir full of fury in form of his vision which changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he had spoken and commanded that should heat the furnace one seven times more. And it was, yeah, that's, that, that's an example that has weak. Yep. You know, hyperinflation, gas at all time high. Sorry. That's Esau, he comes trying to uh, bug out our people for us to serve him, yep. to serve his image. Come, because what is uh, Joe Butthead doing? He's, he's mad, he's upset. What is he doing? He's coming down with more and more draconian measures because they see that um, the certain tactics didn't work. Okay, a lot of them didn't work, so they're going to have to be what? More and more cardinal. So again, in the seven, uh, uh, seven times is what? A completion. So a seven amount of times is what they turn up the heat, right? And that's what they're going to be doing. The same thing here in Babylon the Great. Okay? And this was, uh, I think, ancient Babylon, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. And we're in that, and this is, this is modern day Babylon. Okay? Showing you that we're still in captivity. Okay? It says, and he commanded the most, my, uh, fuck yeah, Daniel 3 and 20, and he commanded the most high mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fury furnace. So again, that's going to be when, um, when you, when you go to check your account and there's no money in the account. Okay? That goes into the famine. That goes into the, what, the pestilence. That goes into the, what, evil and bad times. Because what are they saying? This is the endemic. Right, they're saying it's all over, right? So when you when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come, okay? And that's that's because Yahweh Shemuel Shai has given us the eye shop to be able to have that understanding and to be out here to be able to give our people warning, whether they will hear or they will forbear, because uh, you know terrible times are coming. It's the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, okay? And you're going to be tested for this faith, especially if you're men of the Lord. They got those red lists and those blue lists, and they got those internment camps. Right? And they're already doing that over there in China, re-educating, um, you know, they say re-educating, but really it's a re reprogramming. Yeah, re really it's get down or lay down, okay? I want to back you up real quick, bro, because you mentioned, you know, peace and safety and certain destruction. Uh, it's like Jeremiah 6 and 14. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. Uh, yeah, because there is no peace. There's no peace until... Uh, the physician cuts off that long disease, okay? Yeah, you know what I mean? That virus. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that long time, there's, there's going to be no peace, Ecclesiastes 10 and 8, okay? And how does that come? It comes in the form of Yahweh Shema Shai giving, giving the, uh, the vision to his men, the pastors of his own heart, to be able to get the knowledge and understanding of the scriptures to be able to uh, give us uh, comfort. And that goes through Yahweh Shai, that's that comforter. We didn't have that. We didn't have that before. And, and uh, two-thirds of our people don't have that, okay? So Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. And so um, that comforter, is, that's a miracle in itself. That we're able, that a miracle that we even know that we're yeah. Israelites. It's a miracle uh, <laughs> having a physician, which is the Yahweh Shai. Yes. And that's the physician that Yahweh created for us to get what well, healed. Yep. For the infirmities and the curses of the Ram the Tumi chapter. Uh, I mean, even even, even uh, these prophecies, the fact that they're unfolding and, yeah. and being fulfilled, yeah. that's a miracle in itself. Uh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're being manifest. They're being seen. To those that have eyes to see, those that are that truly believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, they're being seen like, oh, okay, the yeah. problem is here. Yeah. So now, if you just go out in the world, now you're gonna go out in the world. Yeah. Now you're gonna get linked. You're gonna get linked in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, maybe got universal basic income in Ukraine. Right. Right. Oh, 
yes. And, and, and right there, that's an enchantment. Because uh, Ukraine, now we're like, oh, okay, this is part of the, the stirring up the meat, yeah. right? But I was still looking back, I'm like, yo, what are they trying to do with Ukraine? And now they came out with the, the, the um, central bank and digital currency. That's the only thing they have for the currency there. Then you got over there in Saudi Arabia, they have uh, China going in with their currency. The, the, I think it's called the UN, or yeah, the yen, which is their Chinese currency, okay? And then that's so gonna, that's gonna crumble the petrol dollar. Yep, son. And that's what they and that's ultimately what they want to do. They want to crumble that petrol dollar so they can bring bring in the central banking digital currency, ultimately bringing in the prelude to the to the karagma, which is a graven image in your forehead or in your hand to have you um linked into their system, which is physical. Something physical inserted. And, uh, and, and a lot of these a lot of these countries are all they're all trying to bring out their own uh, uh you know digital currency. You got uh over here and if and you notice it's only getting closer and closer to Babylon, right? It started over there in Asia yep. and Europe. Now it's now it's over here. You got uh in, in, in South America and it's it's, cu it's coming up too. It's Jamaica has one now called the Jamdex, the Jamaica yep, uh, sir, sir. digital exchange. Yep. You know, so it's just a matter of time before it starts reaching U.S. territory, man. Yep. So that's what they do. They test it out from the east, basically going back to the past. You know, yep. go back to the past, the, and it comes to the west. That's right. Okay. Um, I got a quick precept before going to the heathen. Psalms 21, why do they even rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And isn't that a new uh, modern day fourth industrial revolution, a, a so called vain thing? Uh, it says, uh, Psalms, uh, yeah, so when you go into that word, uh, you know, he, a heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing, okay, when you start, when you go into, um, I think it's a uh, uh, rage, it goes into commotion, okay, they're causing a, a coma, and what is the commotion? The commotion is, uh, Hey, hey, um, we have this for you, you know what I mean? And hey, we're gonna take away the fiat currency. Hey, we'll give you universal basic income. Hey, just, well, hey, we'll give you stimulus. Hey, you don't even have to work, just stay at home, okay? You will, you will own nothing and, and have, uh, you will have nothing and, and be happy, and be happy, right? Uh, pas suave, because ultimately that's what they want to go into. It's a fourth industrial uh, revolution. And you mentioned that word, you mentioned that word commotion, right? Yeah. Luke 21 and 9, but when you shall hear of wars and commotion, <laughs> Be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Done. And because people are running, uh, what's going on in the Ukraine, they're showing people getting executed. And also, they're showing you another thing, too, where they're, they're basically setting up these uh, Russian, um, basically, they have Ukrainian soldiers that are uh, dressed up as uh, Russian in Russian uniforms. And basically hitting up the people because that, 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 that is a whole enchantment. We know that the, the leader over there, Zelensky, he's nothing but a uh, fraud and nothing but an actor. Okay, but he's set up by Yahweh Shem Harsai ultimately to be able to, uh, <laughs> you know, just show how uh, ignorant uh, people really are. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and so that's a setup. Then, then also he's, he was a real actor. Okay? Then, then he's done all sorts of other things that came out here. He was a trans, you know, the transformer community. Okay, so that's all sorts of things that, that's coming out through what they've been in there, what, like 22 days or something like that, as far as the war. Like you know, oh, heading already for, for four weeks. Yeah, so a lot of that, a lot of enchantments, and then you keep seeing that, what, that blue and yellow. Okay? Um, you seen that in the, in the Super yeah, the Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> the Super yeah, Bowl yeah. with uh, Snoop Dogg. You know, he has, he has that, that, that uh, blue, uh, yellow color. Blue and gold, yeah. Yep. And that's, those are all psyops because what does it do? It makes it, uh, it's with your psyche yeah. to be able to, okay, I see that. Now, and then what do you have? You have people donating, okay, um, billions of, well, uh, uh, Babylon the Great don donated billions of dollars. Like 12 billion. Or yeah, yeah, like that. I didn't want to say, yeah, yeah 12 billion. Yeah, yeah, 12 billion dollars. So now. Well, while well, well, you look, catching hell and looking for reparations. Right, exactly. Right. Homeless people, you got right, these yeah. encampments yeah. around here. Even in uh, Dago, you got a whole line, streets and streets full of people with tech. Well, they're actually okay. paying uh, uh, Get uh, road. two dollars. Get row, yeah. You know, they're mm -hmm. paying homeless people two dollars so they can stay away from that dirtiness. Yeah, yep. I mean, they're pretty for uh, Ukraine, but they're taking uh, Jake off the bus, and off the train in uh, Ukraine. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. their hand. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. through dark skin. Because yeah. also, what are they doing with the Ukrainians? The Ukrainians can come over here, I think it's for three years, and they'd be able to get a better shot than you, than even uh, Jake yeah. Yeah. Right? So yeah. just showing you that, you know, Bab, uh, right here, when uh, Neko Bezier turned up that furnace seven times, yeah, that's, that's what he's doing. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, because they need new slaves. And we're, we're uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> being in this captivity, you know, hey, we're, we're, we're in that fire right now. Oh, you know, yeah. you know, like the brunt, like uh, the prophets from, or, you know, from, from, from Lockyer, from, from before, from, from yeah. old. Uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah That's right. You know, hey, 
the, the fire was turned up on them, the fire is being turned up on us through the spirit, you know? Yep. But I want to I hit on a point that you made about, you know, the, uh, the digital currency and things of that nature, man, because ultimately what they're trying to do is just to keep, keep everybody at home, keep everybody at bay and, 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 and living through the metaverse, man, this imaginary virtual yeah, yeah. reality, right? Yep. This is um, Ecclesiastes, and I'll read uh, 1, or it's like this, chapter 12, 1 to 4. It says, Remember thy, now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. You break it down. Yes. It says, While the sun or light, or the moon or the it stars. Says, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. We yes. are in the times of our youth. Okay, we're, we're in our young spirit, so to speak. Our brothers came into the truth, well, like, when they were in the 20s, average, uh, early 20s, 25, 30, 35. Because you don't want to be old talking about, oh, I woulda, coulda, shoulda. The yeah. time is to act yeah. now. Again, act. <laughs> deeds, yeah, deeds. The mi and that, that's a miracle that brothers are able to go on the highways and the byways. I want to back you up real quick. Show, right? Before I finish that yeah, off, no, you just made a good point. This yeah. is uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where thou goes. You know, so, <laughs> hey, no matter how old you say, if you old, hey, really, according to, uh, what is that, Job uh, 33 and 8 or 33 and 7, you know, hey, you should be, you should be teaching, you know, you should be teaching the words of, of your high body now stop. You know, make your call on election sure, because because uh, you never know when your day is gonna be up, when your number is up. Go to that scripture that you're speaking about that you just read. Yep. Okay. okay. Finish this off in uh, yeah, yeah. twelve. Uh, Ecclesiastes yeah. twelve and two. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars do not darken, nor the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few. Mm -hmm. uh, the keepers of the house are the economic, the people that are running the economics, which is Esau, Edom. Okay, Esau, Edom, is the self-proclaimed white man, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the Duponts, those are those heathen raisins, that crafty council song, uh, Psalms 83, those are the keepers of the house, they're running the economic form, they're running everything that's going on, as the brother was bring, uh, we were speaking about the central bank and digital currency, they're the ones that are causing the commotion, okay, and now people don't see it, they see it as it's going to be good, it's all good, you know, it's easier, I can just, you know, use my hand or whatever, I can slap my forehead, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how they're gonna see it. They see it as easy and convenient, right. you know what I mean? They can open their car with it, things like that. They're already doing that in uh, Slocky. I don't mean to yeah, I saw that video, yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. The brother, uh, Malachia from, from uh, LA, he uh, he did a quick little little video where he was pretty much, there was like a, a, a touch-free uh, button on the train on the train system, you know? So, hey, what is, what is, that's a prelude to what? You know, the, the horizon, you know? Yeah. But, um, and they also have, they have a video where there's this guy he wants to implant or he does he implants certain things into him and basically what he does he'll go up to his car and basically just yeah. open the car and then he, he can be able to start it then one dude he has like a thing over his head i gotta show you about this oh, video I saw that. I saw yeah that he has a yeah. thing on his head like an antenna yeah an antenna so basically he's blind or no i think he has um, he can't see colors okay yeah. so but with the antenna he can hear colors. <laughs> yeah, he, can. he can hear colors and see sound. Uh, yeah. So those are, again, those are, and this dude has a literally like a little horn coming out. He's just walking through the city. You know what I mean? And this is the thing. Those, these are lying wonders. This is a pseudoscience. See, we, we see it and we're like, oh, okay, because we know what it's actually leading to. But these people are going to start bugging out because what do they constantly want? They want that new iPhone. They want yeah. that new, they always want new tech, uh, you know, people in the world, they always want that technology. Well, the upcoming okay. uh, iPhone is going to come with uh, contact lenses for your eyes. Okay. So you can be able to, you know, videotape. And they give you that example in the uh, modern day movie, the, the, the Batman. They show you that example with the contact lenses, man. Yep. And, that, and that's going to be able, that's going to cause, um, you know, that's going to cause uh, things. That's, a, that's an example of comfort. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, the people of the world, they want everything convenient or everything easy, man. Yeah, for, for instance, um, Uber Eats. Yeah. Everything's at your door. Women never have to cook. You know what I mean? Never cooking. Just, okay. You know what I mean? So everything is right at your door. Again, going back to Rome, fast food. Yeah. Okay, fast food, McDonald's. You know, a woman doesn't actually make a good meal. If you ever have a good home cooked meal, yeah. you're like, well, you know what I mean? It's actually something uh, comforting. Yeah. Just like this word is comforting. Okay, it's comforting, but it's long suffering. Yeah. You know, I want to finish this off. Yeah, it's uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few, and those that look out of the window darken. 
Like, come on. What about uh, not hurting no more? What about your woman respecting you? You know what I mean? What about having the law, statutes, and commandments in your inward part so you don't have to look around your shoulder about what's going on? You don't have Esau, Edom always oppressing you over you. That's the thing. Yeah. So, I want to get an account on okay, uh, another miracle. Which, you know, kind of topic that we're, we're on. Right? This is um, the book of uh, Acts, the 8th chapter, and the uh, 38th verse. It says, and this is talking about uh, Philip and, and the eunuch. All right, this is, uh, it says, and he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized them. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus, and, and passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. Right, so what, what was that? Uh, that miracle was teleportation, man. Mm. You know, the Heavenly Father took Philip away and, and placed him in another spot, man. You know, hey, so where was the witchcraft there? All this, all these, all these miracles and all these doings are by way of the Heavenly Father. The Howl by Sinai Daniel, Habakkuk. Hey, the same thing. Yeah, when, when, yeah, yeah. They, when he was so, taken by the crown of his head and, yeah. and, and sent him to, to Daniel to give him food, man. Who was that? Uh, the belly of the dragon? Yep. You know? Because that was the same thing, the worship of, worship of the dragon. The same thing that we're going through right now. Nothing new, Ecclesiastes uh, was at 1 and 9. You know, nothing new is under the sun. But this time we have a comforter. We have Yahweh Shai, in a time of trouble like never before. So this is Daniel 3, 22. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot and the flame of fire through these men took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So again, they're going to start turning up on the men of the Lord. Just like uh, Apostle Gahar, what point did the year of Yahweh Shema started turning up? Okay, that, what do you think the... Uh, what was that Instagram? It was Insta. It's one of the uh, you know the networks for our social media. Well, was they, they took it away in Russia. Russia. Yeah, yeah, tons. Mm -hmm. And so in Russia, so it's just showing you the famine of the word, not of bread, but the famine of the word. Also, uh, apparently Canada, uh, they just banned RT News. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, from the internet. As yeah, because well. RT News, he's supposed to, again a Russia um, alter, uh, network, right? And they're they're always exposing all the wickedness. Okay, the underlining things, and that's why they're they're trying to what knock down this word. Okay, but they but they can't do nothing uh, against the truth, but for the truth, you know, they're, 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 they're forwarding the uh, the gospel, showing you that yeah, this, yeah. that's another miracle. That's another yeah. miracle <laughs> that Esau Edom could be Esau Edom is being made bare. Okay, well, all the brothers have been telling it the past week. I mean, we're on the back of channel. Yeah. But the brother um, Nahar, he was like the idol. His channel got terminated. I had to notify him this morning. Oh, uh, hey, they even blocked yeah. it. I'm gonna cut you off. They even they even um. Uh, Nowadays, I don't know if y'all, I know you know, but the, the, the transcript. Yeah. Hey, yeah. so Esau here is, is tracking every word that we're being said, man. Yeah. He's Why did you use it against us? Exactly. Yeah. We're building a case. That's right. right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Because this man, Esau, Edom, this devil, is guilty on all charges, man. Yep. And we have a righteous judge in here on our cause, man. Yep. And we're the witnesses, man. Yep. We don't give a damn how many transcripts we put out. You're still guilty, man. And the scriptures say that we'll be brought to, uh, before kings. And rulers for the name of Yahweh Shai Yeah, you yep. know, yep. Yep. because we're currently in the spiritual court. And what happens to witnesses? You're gonna have the, the one that's accusing the witness trying to put him to death. Yep. Trying to put uh, 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 Ephraim and Judah, okay, in, in, in jail, in prison, whatever. Uh, oh yeah. So 20 Daniel 3 and 22, and they become. Uh, no, I got that. It's, one. Uh, it's, it's crazy though because they're accusing us of treason. Yeah. But they're actually in, in treason because they're trying to overthrow the house of David. Mm -hmm. And it's written that they won't be able to get the victory, man. Yeah. This nigga's salty. Because yep. yeah. he's, he's salty, a, Yeah, he's a vagabond fugitive, yeah. running to and fro, hiding from his um, his judgment. Okay? When we got hit on the... We, we've been hit on our chin. Every day we're getting hit on our chin. Okay? Or uh, wh wherever. We're getting getting assaulted from left and right, but we're standing stiffly. See, yeah. what did Esau Edom do? He started crying out. You know, he cried out to Isaac, which is Yahweh Shai. He wept. He couldn't just take it. He couldn't take it that hey, you were supplanted. Now, right. now, you know, you're, you're not, you're not, you're rejected. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just accept it, okay? Because we had to accept what captivity, okay? We had to accept that we that we um, didn't know who we were. We drank out of that cup. Yeah, we drank out of that cup, and because they drank out of that cup, they shall uh, be hey, rewarded double. Uh, Joseph had to accept uh, Ephraim taking on the uh, the inheritance over over Manasseh, even though he was the younger brother. You know, <laughs> hey, you just gotta, you gotta take it, man. Yeah, because we all gotta, what, play the role. Play the role. This is Yahweh, and Yahweh's movie, right, and Yahweh's side has been given all power and reign. He's gonna execute judgment. He came to do his 
his father's business. And if we are in a like-minded spirit, then we're going to follow the order of, of, of the word, right? Which is Yahweh Shai, because this is a decree from Yahweh, right? And real quick, we're going to have the uh, destination of the word miracle. It says, miracle, a surprising and welcome event that is not explainable by natural or scientific law. And is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so this, this uh, word... Uh, you know, Esau Edom tried to hide it for so long. Yep. Okay, he gave us the slave Bible. You know, he tried to, um, you know, hide certain things from us. Uh, uh, even our, our calling us byword, calling us black, calling us Mexican, calling us, uh, you know, uh, Dominican, calling us uh, Ephraim, or fuck it, not, not Ephraim, but uh, Puerto, Puerto Rican, Puerto yeah. Rican, poor rich. Okay, calling us all these different bywords. So again, that's a miracle in itself. Uh, can you read that again? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of, there was a point I wanted to make. It says, it's a, uh, the word miracle, says a similar word mystery super supernatural phenomenon a surprising and welcome event uh, that is not explainable by natural or scientific law yeah because our lord is supernatural he's a consuming fire you can't put you can't put your no one can put their hand on 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 yahweh bashim okay you know what i mean only when yahweh shai came down in the flesh okay that was never going to happen again i want to uh, i, I want to bring out a point real quick uh, real quick well, okay. hebrews 12 and 29 for our God, Yahweh, is a consuming fire. Yeah, but you can't touch him. Okay. Simple as that. This is uh, so, so yeah, right. also in the law. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Our, our Lord is a consuming fire. Yeah. Our God is a consuming fire. Yeah. Sirach, chapter 43 and 28. How shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. Right? So, hey, you can't you can't suppress or, or minimize the power... In, in, in works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Jumping down to verse 32. There are yet hid greater things than these before, for we have seen but a few of his works, man. You know, so hey, these powers and these miracles are only, we, we haven't even seen what he's capable of doing for us, man. You know? And Lord willing, we're of those men who are able to receive those, those spiritual powers, man. Execute visits upon these damn heathens. Well, All right. Going back to your book, say Rag 42 and 17. The Lord has not given to the saints, to the, the Lord has not given power to the saints to declare all his marvelous works, which the Almighty Lord firmly settled that whatsoever it might, as might be established for his glory. So uh, we don't have, uh, how it in the scriptures, uh, we know in part, but we prophesy in part. We don't have the, the, the full you know, understanding of how about you now try it, but only according to the scripture. Hey, because we're still learning, and we're still, and even in the kingdom, man, yeah, we're, we're still, still going to be learning. learning. Every single day is going to be something new in the kingdom that we're learning. Right? There were certain things that Moses was told to hit, to, to, to hide, yeah. you know, to, to, not, to, not, to, to not write down. No, yeah. Even certain no. uh, certain prophets and certain officials, not every um, you know, prophet was given the understanding um, that's given to, to this point right now. You know, Jeremiah didn't have the same understanding as Isaiah. Yeah. Okay, they all had different, um, the how about you know, working them all different, um, uh, yeah, di di yeah, different lots, but all the same vision. Yeah, all the same, yeah, yeah. You know? because all the same vision is all speaking about the day of the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not, it's not uh, different days of the Lord. There's gonna be, you no, know, this day. There's gonna be that. No. It's gonna be. Uh, that was one of the things. It says that, in the book of Sirach, yeah, yeah. the forty-four chapter, that some of the prophets don't have a memorial in the form of they don't have their book. You yeah, know? Yeah, like the men who uh, were teaching. Who uh, the apostles were like, we saw men teaching in their name. Yep. You know? Yeah, those men are not forbid them not. Forbid them not. Yep. You know? And those are those men. There's not a book of there's not a book of um um what's that guy? Apollos. But he's oh. mentioned in the scriptures, but he doesn't yep. have his own book. Uh, he was yep. mighty in the word though. Yep. You know? Yeah, I gotta say, who is it in uh in, in um Silas too? Silas. Yep, Silas. Uh, you know? Jackson. Yeah, because it says uh, Apollos was uh was uh, 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 a or judges. Uh, yeah, uh, I read it. I read it. Hold on, let me read it to you. You know? But hey, there are things that are hid from us, man. You know, and we're not going to get the full understanding of things until we're in the kingdom. Until we get that new body. Right? Let me let me get this real quick. This is Joshua 10 and 13. And this is another miracle. When, uh, let me just get the whole miracle, yeah, if, if I may. Yeah, go ahead. The whole thing. Get all the meat off the phone. This is uh, Joshua 10 and 12. Then spake Joshua to, to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is it not written? Is it not this written in the book of Jasher? Right? So hey, where is where do you see Jasher in the scriptures? You don't. And what is that saying? He's he's preserving that book until we're we're in the kingdom, man. And it's not 
on the Book of Enoch. Yeah, because, yeah, cause, cause, yeah that was real quick, because they tried to put that out. Uh, what was the other book, too? There was another the book. Yeah, they tried to yeah. put out that, you know what I mean? And that's not the Bible, correct Bible, thing. Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the we have enough to get salvation. I don't have to y'all have to if we're yeah. that number, man. Yeah. And that's all we need. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, First Maccabees 12, you know? 12 to 12 and 9. Yeah, yeah. Because this Go wisdom ahead. is a uh, ruby, you know, this wisdom, you know, that's going to be able to uh, be able to serve us on the day of rest. Uh, it says, uh, finish it off, it says, so the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hastened not to go down of, about the whole day. And there was no day like that before, before it or after it. And that's an example of a daylight setting time for 24 hours. That's right. Just like Esau has it for around 13, 16 hours. Well, how about, you know, it's already made it to, I believe that was two again. Joshua, yeah, Joshua. Okay, yeah. he was able to you know, suffer strong, uh, strong for 24 hours, right? Yeah. The whole day. It says, and there was no day like that before or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. Uh, the Lord, Israel fought for Israel, right? And we're doing the same thing these last days. We're fighting for our nation, mainly and primarily for the elect of right. our nation. And right. what does it say? One, uh, Psalms 147 and 19. He has not known any other nation. He has not dealt with any other nation. Right. And this is real quick, the brother brought up follows this is Acts 18 and 24. So again, not everybody has their name, you know, uh, you know, far as in the, the epistles, right? But doesn't mean that it's not written in the book of life, right? So Apollo, uh, this is Acts 18 and 24, a certain Jew named Apollos, born of Alexander, an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures, came to the feast, right? It says, uh, Ephesus, uh, water, okay? This man was instructed in the way of the Lord Yahweh Shai and being fervent in the spirit, so being on fire for this word. Okay, Esau Edom's not going to be on fire for this word, showing you that he's a man of the Lord. And being fervent in the spirit, he spoke and taught diligently the things of Yahweh Shimon Shai, knowing only the baptism of John. Okay, so he only knew uh, John. He didn't know um, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so we know that when uh, John was on the scene, uh, John had to what? decrease so Yahweh Shai can be able to increase, okay, but, but it shows you that Apollos uh, uh, believed, believed in the doctrine, okay, so that was just an account of, of another man that was a man of the Lord that um, that maybe didn't have, uh, that wasn't written in the book. Let's go to uh, Proverbs 44 and 1, I'm going to read down to, yeah, famous men, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. let us now praise famous, uh, famous men and our fathers that the goddess, either one of y'all brothers can down. The Lord hath wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning. And you mentioned that in the last scripture you brought out. Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power. But I will renown <laughs> men, uh, men of reputation or famous men. Yeah. Right. Sirach 44 and 3. Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. Leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meet for the people wise and eloquent in their instruction. Like Apollos, he was an eloquent Israelite and teacher in the scriptures. Yep. Yeah. Uh, real quick, the word renown, it says, oh yeah, John, I was going to get that. Yeah. The condition <laughs> of being known or talked about by many people, fame, distinction. And are we uh, being made a, what, a spectacle for Yahweh Shema Asai? And it says a uh, celebrity. Yes, a celebrity. And so we're spiritual celebrities, man. So we're going to be celebrities in the kingdom of God right here. Yes. You know what I mean? Our, our, our boasting is in Yahweh Shai, okay, not in men. Right? This is uh, Sirach 44 and 5, continuing. Such as found out musical tunes and recited verses in writing. And what are we singing? This new song. You know? The many Yahweh Shema Asai are all over the globe singing this new song. In synchronization, man. Not missing a beat. That's where you get, uh, I think that's the word symphony. Uh, a different, uh, uh, you know, people playing a different instrument, like the violin, the guitar, the piano, but they're playing the same song. Son, and Yahweh yeah. is the conductor. Yep. Okay, and one part of it. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so take it one step further, yeah. King David had a band. Yeah, oh, good, good. He played music. You know he was a man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? The man of the Lord's heart, right? <laughs> this is uh, Sarah 44 and 6. Rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably, and... Like it. I'm gonna start again from the top. Rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitations. All these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left the name behind them, the prophets, the servants. You know, you got Habakkuk, um, 
you know, I got it right here. I got it right here. This is uh, uh, Second Ezra uh, 1 and 39. Yeah, Unto yeah. whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, yeah. Hosea, Amos, Micaiah, um, Joel, or was it uh, Micah, Joel, Ab Abadiah, Jonas, Abadiah, Abadiah yeah. Yeah. J uh, Jonas, Nahum, Jonas. Habakkuk, uh, uh, Zephaniah, 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 and Zachary and Malachi, Zechariah and Malachi, which is called also the angel of the Lord. And that's just, you know, to back you up on that point. Hey, also, I think the 120 prophets that came from Lisa, that, that hit, that hit in the cage, done. This is, uh, real quick, uh, about this, uh, this is 2 Timothy 1 and 8. So all these men were, they all had the power of Yehovah Shemashai gave them the vision to be able to see. And they weren't ashamed of the testimony, okay? So 2 Timothy 1 and 8, be not thou... For ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Yahweh, nor of me, his prisoner, but be a partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh. So, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, because whatever that our affliction is, uh, it's for the Lord willing, it's for the gospel. That's a reasonable service to Yahweh by Shimei And again, we are prisoners, we are fools for Hamashiach's sake. If we're of those elect, we're of those elect men, right? A, that's why you can't be ashamed in the gospel. And those that, that don't believe in a Moses, you know, spitting the Red Sea, they don't believe in the miracles. And again, they're, they're ashamed of the testimony. That's uh, them having a form of godliness, but not denying the power of it. Oh, that's kind of scripture. You, well, you, want to, you want to look up on your phone? What is it? Uh, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of I believe it's in the, it might be in the book of Timothy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Second Timothy. Um, yeah, I got you. I think it's this in is, it right here. Yep. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, yeah, okay. con, con, con. This is, um, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sarat, 44 and 8. And it reads, There be of them that have left a name behind them, that their praises might be reported. I'm going to start with 7. All these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left a name behind them, that their praises might be reported. Their, their names are written in the scriptures, man. They have their own books. But, this is uh, Sirach 44 and 9, And there be, and some there be, which have no memorial, who are perished as though they have never been, and are become as though they had never been born, and their children after them. Sirach 44 and 10, But these were merciful men whose righteousness had not been forgotten. While, it says, while their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, and their children are within the covenant. Talking about those men who don't have their, their, their uh, names in, in the Holy Scriptures as far as their own book, but their names are written in the book of life. You know, that's all, that's all we're trying to be a part of is, is uh, be written in the book of life to be counted worthy in that day of, of, our son, of, of the son of Yahweh coming back. Be counted worthy. Let me get one precept to back that up. Um, uh, okay, oh yeah, I want to get to uh, no, no. Second Timothy three and five. Yeah, and five. All right, let me start from four. It says, it says, uh, <laughs> traitors, heady, high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. So again, these are traitors. Okay, that, uh, going to what is that? Psalms one thirty-nine and uh, twenty-two. That um, that King David hated them with perfect hatred. Yeah, they were once in a boat, but they yeah. were in a sinking boat too. Yeah, they jump ship for what? That 501c3 glory of this world, right? Those are traitors. They're high-minded. And right before that, it says they made a separate. Uh, Paul was telling Timothy to war good warfare. Yeah. You know? yeah. Son, it says uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. So again, they're saying, you know, hey, we're, we're the Hebrew Israelites. Or, or the, you know, they're coming in the, they're, they're saying that they're Judas. Yeah, but the spirit of Judas. They're you know, using just, the Bible to teach against the Bible. Just man. like the people that use, um, you know, they'll put black, you know, they'll be preaching with the, um, what's that, I-U-I-S-T-K or whatever it is. They're all in black, okay, and they're preaching with uh, black power, the black power, uh, you know, the new new uh, Black Panther. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And, How are you going to? And if you look at their, uh, their, their uniform, it looks just like a Masonic bar. Yep. You know? Yeah, because because uh, black goes back to darkness, goes back to these, those gothic people that you see, okay? And, and black means what? Void of light, your absence of light, okay? This is uh, Sirach 44 and 10, and it reads, But these were merciful men whose righteousness had not been forgotten, 
while their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, and their children are within the covenant. This is Isaiah 59 and 21. And it reads, As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord Yehovah Shemuel Shai. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, see, said the Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai, from henceforth and forever. And that's a covenant that he made well, with the children of Israel. Also five and five, you back that up. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's also written in the book of Joshua. And again, you know, one eight. Yeah, it also speaks about um, they shall have no gal in them. Okay, they're not coming with that, that uh, or like, like I said in the book of John, when Yahweh Shai saw, I think it was Thomas or Samuel, he said, Behold, an Israelite like indeed, in yeah. whom there is no guile. Yep. And you're not going to speak false doctrine, man. Yep. So, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Verse 5, no. down to 6. Two okay. back to the Lord. Okay. Yep. The spirit is no guile. Yeah. Uh, Psalms uh, 101. Uh, there's a precept to back up to Brother Oz because he mentioned the uh, covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Psalms uh, 105, down to verse 7. Yep. Psalms 105 and 5. Remember his marvelous words that he had done his wonders and judgments of his mouth. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh, you see, Abraham, yeah, the that servant. Word, see, I believe that word see in the Jews is a servant. Because you are who your father is. And we come out of the lineage of Ruth. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not Abraham and Ishmael, but Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Forever. Yeah. Showing you the seed. Yeah. Okay, going back to your father's line, not your, not your mother's, right? right? You see, Abraham, his servant, the children of Jacob, Jacob, his chosen. His chosen. Uh, Jacob in the Hebrew is Jacob, which means uh, the banquet. And when Jacob, uh, he uh, wrestled against the angel, he received that uh, that blessing, and his name was turned to his prince of power. That's the Allah, which uh, translates to the English word Israel. And which are the chosen line. Yep. Okay, which are princes of the power. Showing you a separation from these heathen nations. And, uh, you know, Elam and uh, Israelite, okay, they're, they're not going to make it. Okay, we'll go down to uh, verse 10. He is the Lord, Yahweh Shalom Shai, his power, his judgments are in all the earth. Yep. So again, if, if uh, uh, what does it say, no one dies innocent, you know, if it's a child, a baby, or whatever, they don't know what they did in their past life, going back to the, the, uh, the seed, the regeneration, okay, reincarnation, you know, you don't know what you did as far as in your past life. But who has those judgments, uh, the nation of Israel? Yep. Psalms 147, he has given uh, the nation of Israel statutes and judgments. Yep. Because again, those are the only ones that, that can uh, actually sin, right? It says, He that have remembered his covenant forever, the word which had commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, in which Isaac was Jehovah Shai, yep. and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. For an everlasting covenant, meaning a covenant that's going to last forever, man. I'll give you a thousand years. Yeah, yeah. Back to you guys up on that point. This is Psalms 33 and 12, and it reads, Blessed is the nation whose power is Yahweh, and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. His own inheritance. And the people. I'm going to read again. Yeah. Psalms 33 and 12, and it reads, Blessed is the nation, blessed is the nation whose power is Yahweh, and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. And who he choose for his own inheritance. The sons of God, down to Abraham, down to Isaac, down to Jacob and his twelve sons, right? Yeah. Because if you think, if you think about, like even in the worldly sense, you have your favorites that you like. You might have your favorite food. You might have your favorite car. You might have a certain woman, certain type of woman that you like. Showing you that our Lord don't limit our Lord. Our Lord has favorites. He has a chosen line. Okay, he has a, a favorite, you know, favorite, uh, what, a favorite dove. Uh, but the plant is the lily. Okay, that speaks about an apocryphal. So he has his favorites too. And that's the children of Israel, right? When right now he's dealing with the remnant of the elect. Okay? Yeah, I was shot at his favorite. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, sorry. John was his favorite. Yeah, John you know was his that's favorite. That's why he received the book of Revelation. And David, uh, but Peter, was, Peter, Peter, was, Peter was the most high servant. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why Yahweh Shai was constantly getting on his ass. And what's showing you, there's you a, know? there's a, um, not in doctrine, but there's a separation as far as what they, you know, as far as, um, you know, who they, who they like. Yeah, that shows you a separation between the two. It shows you that they're, that they're, that they're uh, separate groups. Yeah, that's, yeah, kind of, that's you know? what I was trying to say. But they're yeah, one accord. One accord, you know? yeah, they're one accord as far as in the doctrine. That's just like a brother's here, again. You might have your, you might like, uh, you know, chicken, or you might like whatever that's your favorite meal be. But there's that, are we different in the doctrine? You got no, your own favorite meal. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, like for brothers, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Same thing. Oh, that's your favorite sports team. You know, you know favorite meal. Kind of. You know, you may have a few 
that ye may learn them and keep and do them. The Lord our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. There you go. That's an example of the Lord giving us the covenant only for the nation of Israel Again, and, uh, and no one else. Right. It's uh, Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 15. It's speaking about if we follow the law, set the commandments. Oh, yeah. And then what will happen 15 through 60, was it 68 or 64? Yeah, 68. Yeah, 68. Where those are the, the things if we don't follow the law, set the commandments that was given to us. So I want to get that one word, uh, you know, ashamed, right? So it says you won't be ashamed, as the brother was reading a little bit ago. It said ashamed means embarrassed or guilty because of one's actions, characteristics, and what do they do to our people? They have us uh, be ashamed of who we are. Yep. Okay, um, they'll call us, uh, they'll speak wetbacks, they'll call us savages. Okay, all these different things, and people are ashamed of who they are. Look at our people, they always try to hide behind Esau Edom. They want to uh, walk around with their, you know, their ball, their ball face, you know, their suit and tie, you know, trying to hide who they are. When our culture is, 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 uh, is, is heavy, it's deep, you know what I mean, as, as a, you know, the, the older, uh, the older gentleman would say, you know, our, our, our culture is actually has, has uh, layers and layers, okay? Esau Edom is going to be destroyed. Why would you want to be a part of that? So don't be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Because in that day, we're not going to be, uh, Lord willing, we're of those men, we're not going to be ashamed. Let me, right? get, uh, let me get this real quick. This is Sarai 17 and 10 down to 12. And, we, and the elect shall praise his holy name. And the name has always been with the sons of God, going back to Genesis uh, 4 and 24. You know, Seth and those men begin to call on the name of Yahweh. Well, that started back in the book of Genesis, man. You know, it didn't just start in the book of Exodus, you know. It just said in the book of Exodus uh, 6 and 3, the name was not known. You go to that word known, yeah. it means famous. Mm. You know? Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't. Everybody didn't know. Yeah, everybody didn't know that name. You it know what I'm saying? It wasn't fully glorified. It wasn't yeah. fully glorified. Just like right now. Because, you know, he didn't take Pharaoh down yet. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, yeah his name wasn't going to be. Yeah, yeah you know John's loving for the but eggs. when uh, Moses went to go, you know, up to the mount, and I went to this, uh, to the, I went to this actually in the lesson the other night, and he came back, the children of Israel believed. Well, of course, you know, in that interaction, they're going to ask him, who sent you, you know? Or Exodus 3? Uh, Exodus yeah. 4. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says the children of Israel believe. I think it's about the first, uh, the last few verses. Let me get this real quick. This is uh, Sirach 17 and 11, and it reads, Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. He made this everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgment. And again... Yahabashimashai's word or his law says commandments, they're not grievous. Okay? Don't eat uh, don't eat uh, pork, don't eat shrimp, don't eat lobster. Why? Because they come with disease. Okay, they're they're gonna take you out. Those are delicacies. Those are delicacies that the Babylon the Great has made. That's the reason why they made it a, a delicacy. Okay, the pig. Right? Which is because it all leads to death. Everything that Esau Eden promotes is death. Right? Okay. Just going back to this is Daniel. 3 and 23, and those, it says, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the burning fury furnace, the neck of these years, the king was astonished, and rose up in haste, and spoke, and said unto his counselors, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Then answered and said unto the king, God, why, why was that? Didn't we cast three men into the, the midst of the fire? But they actually saw a fourth man. God, again, that number four appears again, mercy. Says, true, shocked, O King. Shocked, huh? He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, showing you that mercy, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and their form of the fourth is like the son of Yahweh, so which was Yahweh's side. So again, showing you, that's also in Matthews uh, 28 and 20, showing you our Lord is always with us, no matter what. Even even when we were in slavery, when we didn't know, when we had the, the unknown name, the name wasn't um, known by, by all the men, we had we still had Yahweh's side with us. Real quick, I told you how I said, uh, Loa, I come in the volume of the book. Yeah, yeah. Yahweh said all throughout the uh, the Old Testament, yeah. from uh, uh, the law, the Torah, the book of the law, all throughout history in the book of uh, Samuel, Kings, Chronicles. Yeah, Psalms, uh, you know, 40 and 7, I come yeah. in the volume of the book, right? And also in uh, Hebrews, right? So this is uh, Matthew, just to back it up, Matthew 28 and 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, and even to the end of the world. Amen. So, so again, if we're, um, he says, I'm with you to the end. So that means uh, if we're of the elect, right, we were with them in the beginning. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Coming back to our heritage, stirring up what that pure mind, that uh, Malachi 3 and 16, okay, those jewels, right, and to the end. What is the end? The end is uh, uh, the, 
Jay, Jay, uh, Satya. He a, saw it. That's the Greek word, uh, the end of the world. That word world goes into, I believe, it's eons. Yep. It's an H, uh, second Ezra 69, for Esau is the end, end of the world. world. And Jacob is just getting that following, showing you that there's going to be what? Another kingdom, right, being brought brought upon. But this kingdom has to be the, uh, has to be destroyed, and that's showing you there can't be two kings. He just said, yep. I am with you to the end of the world. Yep. Well, Jacob was told that. And it reads, Genesis 28 and 13, and behold, the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Shah, stood above him, stood above it. This is uh, Genesis 28 and 12, and it reads, And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and on the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the angels of the Most High ascending and descending on it. Yeah, that's known as, I believe it's called Jacob's Ladder. Yep, that's beautiful. Well, well, one example is that you have the angel Raphael who comes down from the heavens and reports the uh, prayers of the saints, goes back to the heavens and reports to the Bosch and our son. Yeah, but the chapter, I believe. Yeah, but yeah. showing you, showing you yeah. all your prayers are being heard. All the prayers of Yahweh Hashem Shai are being heard. So anything that, that that we're lacking in, we should ask Yahweh Hashem Um, you know, referring to uh, James 1 and 5, you know, without wavering, right? This is Genesis 28 and 13. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am Yahweh, power of Abraham, thy father, and the power of Isaac, the land where thou liest to give thee, will I give it to thy seed. Genesis 28 and 14, and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south, and in thee, and all thy seed, shall all the families of the earth be blessed, because Israel was scattered amongst all the nations. You know, you got Israel everywhere. Yep. This is Genesis 28 and 15, right to the point. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places, whether thou goest and will bring thee again to this land. Mm. For I will not leave thee. What did Yahweh Shai say? I am with oh, thee, oh, even unto oh. the end of the world. Oh, right. Matthew 16 and 28, Bubba Shai. 28 and 20. 28 and 20, yeah. Yes, yes. Water. It does start at 16. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that, well, that goes into the power. Yeah, that yeah. that uh, Yahweh Shai was given all power. Yeah. Okay. It's showing you that he's a comforter. Okay, so, uh, uh, Matthew 28 and 20. Yeah. Matthew 28 and 20, teaching, and this is Jehovah's Shai speaking in red letter, teaching them to observe all things, right? So, and, and if you read up and it says, go and teach all nations, we just read in uh, Genesis 28 and 14 that Israel spread the seed to be spread in the earth to the north, the east, the south, the west. And that's why you have to go and teach in the chief place of concourse among all the nations. Uh, you know, yeah. I did the 34th chapter. You know, also another thing in different tongues. You have brothers yeah. preaching and, um, uh, you know, uh, French, you have brothers preaching and, um, you don't know, of course, Spanish, Spanish, right? And then um, you have even uh, sign language, right? No, sign language, yeah. Yeah, 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 good. So this word is has to is, is with you always, right? Uh, Isaiah 34, 1, real quick. Come ye nations, come near ye nations to hear and hearken, ye people, let the earth hear and all that is there in the world and all things that come forth of it. Right. Everybody got to hear this word. The heathens got to hear yeah, it. Everybody got to get it. Esau got to, Esau got to hear it. YouTube, the CEOs of YouTube, the moderators got to hear it. The people who are putting the thumbnails on our videos. Uh, what's that? The uh, the transcripts. The, the, the Department of Homeland Security, FEMA. You know, the the Gerb, the Gerber troops got to hear it. Yeah, come because the, per the person that wrote the transcript that thought of that idea. Yeah, yeah. you got to you know hear it. You got to hear it. You're going to be destroyed. Yeah, because they're looking over it. Okay, he said that. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Okay, you, now now see that's going to be your judgment. Yep. Okay, that's going to be your judgment from your Habash on our side. Okay, because we're 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 but a, a word. And I don't right? know about the men who you the men who you're uh, moderating as far as you're uh, you're documenting them. You're going to be their slaves, man. Yep. Adon Rathazah, they're, 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 they're of the elect. Boy, you just met your slave master, man. Because yep. uh, again, in the, in, the, in, the kingdom, in the kingdom, Lord willing, we're of those elect, right? Uh, you're going to know what that person did. We're going to know who Abraham Lincoln was. We're going to know who all these different uh, wicked Edomites done. You're going to know someone that oppressed you, that, that uh, you know, had that judgment in court or whatever, <laughs> whatever that was called. Whoever, yeah, whoever oppressed you, that, you know what I mean? They're going to get it. So uh, right here, this is Matthew. Lord willing, we're all those men. Matthew 28 and 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Come on. This is Genesis 28 and 15. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places, whether thou goest, and will bring thee again to this land. For I will not leave thee, 
until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And that's talking about when the nation of Israel, pursuant to Isaiah 14 and 1, is taken into the land by Yahweh Shai. You know, when Yahweh Shai cracks the sky and takes down all power, rule, and authority, and Babylon the Great is burned up with chariot fire and nuclear fire, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to beam up the elect, man, and take them to the Holy Land, take them to the Promised Land, man, you know, and establish the, uh, the kingdom, man. Right. You know, and that's all prophecy. That's all a forecast that Yahweh Shai has given his men to be able to have the understanding of the scriptures to be able to uh, see that vision, right? And to be able to, to speak that vision. And that's when it's physically manifested, but right now it's being manifested through the spirit because you have men declaring the kingdom. Yep. You know, going on the highways and byways and prophesying of the kingdom. That's you know, because right. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, this is a spiritual temple. That's why Esau Edom can't get it. He's like, well, I, I, I hid this, I did that. You know, and they still got it because, again, he's a, he's a carnal man. He doesn't believe in the miracles, the the, the, um, the marvelous miracles, okay? So, this is uh, John 6 and 63 to back up on that point. John 6 and 63, the classic, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit, yep. you know? Done. Because that word quickest means to bring alive because, again, Ezekiel 37 and 5, well, the whole chapter, Ezekiel 37, is speaking about those dry bones. And, and Ezekiel was like, well, can these bones live? Okay, because that's where we were. And bones goes back to your house. Can these, can these men live, you know, as far as the, the tabernacle of David? Can they be able to even get the understanding? You know, they got their pants hanging off their ass. You know what I mean? They're, <laughs> you know, just dig it through. So I want to get this last thing real quick. Daniel 3 and 28, because... Um, you know, showing you that the, when, when uh, Nebuchadnezzar looked in and said, oh, there's four men, right? Showing that Yahweh Shai was with him, right? And, and because the, uh, the three holy children stood firmly for that word, which is the same thing that we're going to, if we're of the elect, we're going to have to do in this time, right? It says, uh, this is Daniel 3 and 28, and Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be, uh, blessed be the power, Yahweh, Asadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Wait, is that Nebuchadnezzar speaking? Yeah, this is Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. So there's a, a, a heathen acknowledging the power and the miracles of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Again, and then he, he has more understanding than uh, one body in Shatan. Yep. Right? And the Nebuchadnezzar <laughs> spoke and said, Blessed be the, the God, the power of Yahweh, of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trust in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any any power except their own God, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? This so, is the, the they song. Stood, uh, real quick, okay. they, because they stood firmly for the word, they didn't have, you know, they didn't have to bow down to those those idols, right? And even Nekobizir acknowledged that, right? This is uh, the song of the three holy children. Yeah, come on, which is the same, uh, the same Shadrach, account. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, yep. Hananiah, Azariah, and Michelle. I think that's what those are the Hebrew names, right? Yep. Yeah, come on. It's also in uh, Daniel, the second chapter, yeah, and, uh, uh, I believe, uh, the first chapter as well. Come on, yeah. This is uh, the song of the three holy children, also known as the prayer of Azariah. This is 1 and 18. And now we follow thee with all our heart. We fear thee and seek thy face. Put us not ashamed. But deal with us after thy loving kindness and according to the multitude of thy mercy. We're going into mercy earlier, yep, yep. which, which we all need. We all need mercy because we all fall short of the, uh, the glory of Yahweh Bashim yeah. Shai. You know, we've all drink, uh, we've drinking all, the cup of uh, We've all drinking the cup, you know, on this side, but yep. we've all greatly transgressed, man. Yep. That's why we need that mercy, man. But that's the renew, and again, that goes into the renewing of your mind, coming back to your youth. You know, also Psalm 51, and I think the brother's going to go into it as far as the contrite heart. This is a prayer of Azariah 1 and 20, and it reads, I'm going to start with 19. Put us not to shame, but deal with us after the loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy mercy. Deliver us also according to thy marvelous works. Mm -hmm. okay. That word marvelous that we read in Psalm 106 chapter. Yeah. Azariah, the prayer of Azariah 1 and 20, deliver us also according to thy marvelous works. Yeah, deliver us from what? Uh, Luke 1 and 69 through our 70, uh, 70 right. verse. And also, if, if any deliver, yeah, from our enemies. So if anything, uh, uh, they're going to go so um, when, it, when you're saying about deliverance, why would you need deliverance? Yeah. You know what I mean? If it was if it was all good, you know, hey, everything's good, you know, you're going to need deliverance out of this wicked place because, again, we are oppressed. We're not even able to uh, say that we are Hebrew Israelites without them knocking down or and actually speaking not mind, which is the truth. 
right? We can't even do that. With, and what do they call it? Misinformation. Yeah. Or what happened uh, in the book of uh, the Maccabees, where it says that uh, uh, they that acknowledge that they were Jews, go to paraphrase. Yeah, Second like Maccabees, the sixth chapter. Yep. Yeah. 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 And it also speaks about um, I think Second Maccabees too, where it's about if they were they're reading the scriptures, they just all back. Yeah, they you know what I mean? Like put to death. To be, uh, to be, uh, to be because Five. this word is going to start being. Um, you know, the famine of the word, you know, yeah. Amos 8 and 11, okay? They're already starting to knock down, uh, you know, certain alternative uh, networks, right? Yep. This is a prayer of Azariah 1 and 20, and it reads, Deliver us also according to thy marvelous works, and give glory to thy name, O Yahweh Shem Shai, and let all them that do thy servants hurt be ashamed, and yeah, let like, them... Like, like Nebuchadnezzar uh, was ashamed. Done. And when you're ashamed, you end the world acknowledging the heavenly father. <laughs> Forever. And uh, that happened to yeah. uh, Antiochus. You know? Epiphany. Yeah, Tiffany. Man, he sent letters to Jerusalem, you know, basically apologizing. Oh, yeah, yeah, he tried oh, to repent. He tried to repent. Yeah, he tried, he but, tried to repent. But showing you that but he, 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 he was not for the heathen. Yeah, then Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, put a, a horrible <laughs> stench on him. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Still killed his ass, man. Uh, you know? And that shows you that Esau can't repent. Oh. You yeah. know? He no. found no place of repentance. Yep. You know, Hebrews uh, 12 and 16. So, so he started with tears. Yeah, he started, again, crying out. And that's what he's doing right now by, by saying things of misinformation, hey. the, uh, re, uh, the transcript. Yeah, you know, that's crying out. out. One, one of the many game. reasons why they took the Apocrypha out is because you can actually track um, Alexander the Great's dad, Philip the Macedonian, back to Haman, back to, uh, back to Agag, back to Emelech, back to Esau. You can actually track that family line yep. through the Apocrypha, through the book of 1st Maccabees, going into Esther, going into uh, Additions to Esther, and going back into the history of the Amalekites, man. That's also, it has the miracles that happened in uh, Maccabees, you know, the, when, when, the, when the angels came and they smote Heliodorus, they beat his ass, you know what I'm saying, almost put him to death, you know what I'm saying. Uh, also, uh, the, 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 the history of Kana, you know. Of, of how of how they, they they went and defiled our temple, man. You know, the history of the Maccabees. Also, you the, know, the, what the Spartans. The, it oh, talks about it talks about how the, it talks about how the the, uh, the the indigenous tribes got over here. Second Ezra the thirteenth chapter, forty nine to forty six. You know, it has uh, the destruction of Babylon the Great, which backs up Jeremiah, which backs up the visions that Ezekiel had, which backs up the visions that John the Revelator had. You can tie it all together, man. You know, and that's why they took the Apocrypha out because it's very gory and it tracks Esau's lineage from the Macedonian, Philip the Macedonian, back to Haman, who was also called a Macedonian. You know what I'm saying? Back to uh, Haman, back to Agag, because Haman goes back to a Haman, descended from Agag, um, the uh, Agagite, and he track it back to Amalek, back to Esau, man. Yep. And that's why they took the Apocrypha out, man, because if you go precept upon precept, you can actually show that these Greeks are the descendants of Esau Edom. They are the sons of the wicked, man. And and what does that show? That Esau Edom is a fugitive. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what a fugitive does. Yeah. They're trying to hide, you know, hey, no, it was that guy. Yeah. You know, and then they, they, what they do, they change their identity, change, yep. you know, change their uh, ethnicity or whatever. You know what I mean? If you went to a fugitive back in the day, <laughs> he would have like five, six, seven fake IDs. Yeah, fake mm -hmm. IDs. Yep. You know what I That's mean? That's what Esau Edom is. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not Esau. I'm, 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 I'm German. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not Esau. I'm, I'm a Spaniard. Yeah, I'm a Spaniard. No, <laughs> yeah. I'm not Esau. And, and, I'm Russian. And cousin. No, I'm not Esau. No, no, no. no. Esau yeah. is done away with. No, yep, no. We yep. never heard of him. Yep. Never heard of him. And that's what I, I am. I am, uh, what's that? Cook, um, what's that? Uh, I am, uh, not Kurdish Turkish. Not Kurdish Turk, but the other Turk. I'm Ottoman Turk. I'm Ottoman Turkish. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm, um, I'm, uh, Ukrainian. Non- Nigga, you Esau. Yep. You know? That's yep. who you are, man. And, and we're going to tell you to your face who you are. Bring it all. Go 15 and 6. Thy own mouth condemneth thee. Yeah. And not I. Yea, thy own lips testify against thee. So the fact that you're calling your name these other nations, hey, it just goes to show you, Esau, man. Yep. Yeah. And, and so much so, when, when you're when you're uh, lying so much like that, you start to, you know, you, you can't even uh, keep up with all your lies. No, you can't. You know? Uh, and then what it happens, you start getting exposed. You know what I mean? From from left and right. Again, that body starts breaking down. That's the same thing that's happening in this kingdom. They're starting to get exposed because they can't keep up with all their lies. All their um their, their covenants that they try to make with these other heathen nations, they're not having it. 
the weak South Korea that we are strong, they're going to come against this uh, even nations. Why? Because their previous act. Right? Let me get this real quick. The backup game with the third chapter. I'm going to keep on going. Um, the prayer of Azariah 1 and 21. And let them be confounded in all their power and might. And let their strength be broken. But the scripture said that the nation of Israel, you shall not be ashamed nor confounded. Isaiah, 40 and, uh, Isaiah 45 and 17. Prayer of Azariah 1 and 22. And let them know that thou art Yahweh, the only power and glorious over the whole world. And the king's servants that put them in cease not to make the oven hot with rosin, pitch, toe, and small wood. Going into Daniel the third chapter. You know, they heated it up, I think, yeah, seven, seven times, times. Yeah. a complete number of times, you know? Yeah, Prayer true. of Azariah 1 and 24 says that the flame stream forth above the, the, above the furnace 40 and 9 cubits, and it passed through and burned those Chaldeans it fought about the furnace. Just the point. But the angel of the Lord came down in the oven together with Azarias and his fellows and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven. Who's that angel of the Lord? Y'all talking about Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need. We're gonna be in the. Uh, we're gonna be in the furnace of adversity. It says, like gold, what gold tried in the fire. Ecclesiastes, yep. uh, you know, two. Yeah. Okay. The rock two. And real quick, I want to go back to that. Um, you said uh, the three holy children. This is uh, one and sixteen. Nonetheless, in a contrite heart and a humble spirit, let us be accepted. Right. So again, a contrite heart. That's being remorseful. Right, knowing that you went off, and the, 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 the children, uh, the three holy children, uh, Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, they were actually repenting and, and, and acknowledging uh, their transgression. Son. And that's they were they were praying, Yahweh Ba Shimi Al Shah, Baba Kashab, Baba Kashab, Baba Kashab, you know, uh, Shamar, you know what I'm saying? Salakia, 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 Baba Kashab, Baba Kashab, Baba Kashab, and then eventually they were delivered. You know what I'm saying? And that's showing you that um, that you have to be with a contrite heart. You have to be remorseful for what you did, referring to uh, Micah uh, 7 and 9. You know, you have to bear that indignation. So whatever that you're going through, right, uh, what take cheerfully. Because we're all going to, we're all catching hell in some, some sort of way. Maybe it's an infirmity. Maybe it's, you know, financially. Baby mama drama. Maybe, yeah. You know, um, Esau trying to fire you. Yep, you know, Esau uh, doing it. <laughs> Esau taking the pages down, you know, shaking yeah. you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Esau banning you on well, social media. Well, Esau saying that you have to take the, no. uh, the thing that they put out a couple years ago, and ultimately that's going to lead yeah. to the karagma. It's already been for years on. Yeah, it's, so already, it's, yeah, it's already you been. May have a, uh, you may have an older brother in your camp rebuking you or elders rebuking you. Yep. You got to take that, man. Yeah, you got to take that, baby. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's going to refine you and Cheerfully. make you gold, man. Yeah, God, you know, you, bought, you were brought in this truth to be refined. You were brought in this truth because you ain't got all the answers, B. Yeah, son. Because you know what I'm saying? Because love is being chastised. Yeah. You know, it's not okay. So you ain't so got the answers, <laughs> yeah, you, ain't got you know. Yeah. You ain't got it, man. Yeah. You know, and you so, have to be refined to have it, man. Yeah. And, and, yeah, cut though. No, you got it. Well, I, no, I mean, you, uh, uh, you know how Prophet always teaches about that, that stoic mindset. Yeah. Yeah. And that word stoic it says a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining. Yep. Right. So when you get rebuked, when you can be complaining, it's better just to be, you know, quiet and yeah. good. Take that, yep. bro. Take it, man. Yeah, because yep. ultimately that's to be able to make you stronger. That yeah. that shows you uh, what and uh, it, shows you that, it shows you a brother actually cares for you, man. Yep. The elders actually care for you, man. Yep. Repeat goes back to the law. Yep. You know, yep. thou shalt not have yep. respect to a person, you know, and that and shall and, and shout at any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And yep. we'll Peter's already so you, 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 how it's like called yeah. You won't have to yep. so you won't uh, <laughs> suffer sin upon him. Right. Yeah, yeah, Peter got rebuked, man. Yeah, yep. you know. Yep. And he's that of the church. Yeah. Right? Yep. <laughs> he's the second David, bro. So, you know, uh, so whatever that, you know, you take you take those things cheerfully because, again, oh, yeah, uh, so endure hardness like a good soldier. So a soldier is going to be, is going to have, well, orders. Yep. And, and, oh, hey, man, do this. You know, do this. You got to listen to orders. You got to listen to the creeds. You got to listen to rebuke. Why? Because those are going to be able to endure what the war and to yep. the end. Right? And, and we are the most soldier is a... Uh, be the word and the man in the soul which means solitary by himself. This is beautiful, yeah. man. I just opened up the Apocrypha and they went right to this precept. I'm going to read it. This is Sarah 21 and 15. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeases him and he casts it behind his back. He casts it, it behind his back. Yeah, that's where you get that word constructive uh, criticism. Yeah. You got to accept criticism to, to make you a better spirit, a, a better Israelite, man. Okay. That goes just like you, just like you, you're, you're in the sports world, man. 
He's going to have a coach coaching you, and he's going to get on you, and he's going to give you tips to help and make you better and refine you to be a better baseball player, basketball player, musician, actor, rapper, you know, just using worldly, uh, you know, examples. Because, again, cause how much more of the truth, man? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. rebuke, goes, no, you gotta, rebuke goes back to uh, chastity. You know what I mean? Because when you're being chastity, say, say you have a, a child, right? You have your children. You don't want them to, uh, or they start cussing out the teacher, or they start doing certain things. Guess what? That's going to lead to more and more wickedness coming upon them, right? So what do you do? You chastise them and start, and start saying, hey, hey, don't, you know, don't do this. This is the reason why. That's and that's what the Yahweh Shalom is doing with this word. This is, uh, I'll get both of them. Revelation 3 and 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed. And that the shame of thy nakedness be not appear, <laughs> and anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Yeah. Revelation 3 and 19. Real quick, well, talk. Uh, white remnant, which goes back to uh, purity. Yep. Okay, and your nakedness is not speaking about your, your butt naked. No, it's speaking about the covering, the armor of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the um, Ephesians um, 6 and the 12. Okay. Baruch 5 and 1, real quick, because you mentioned it. Baruch 5 and 1, and it reads, um, Put off Jerusalem the garment of thy mourning and affliction and put on the comeliness of the glory that cometh from the Most High forever. Cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness which cometh from Yahweh and a, and a diadem and set a diadem on the head of the glory of the everlasting. It says a double garment. Yep. A double, you know what I mean? You gotta be, you know, with, uh, Esau, they, yeah, they, yeah, put they, on the whole armor of Yahweh. Lions, and Yahweh. Yeah, lions girded up because, yeah. hey, we're headed for what? Right now war. we're in a spiritual war. war. Okay, burn up thy loins. Yeah, burn up thy loins. Okay, that means you can't be, um, you know, basically pussyfooting around. Oh, okay, I'm in the truth for a couple of days, but the other four days yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm in the world. No, you got to. That, that's why it says fully persuaded, fully persuaded in your mind. That's what the bazaar was all about. If, if you ate that land, okay, being fully persuaded in your mind. What counting the cost? Counting the cost that you can lose your life for this truth. Yeah. Okay, you have. You might. Uh, it says some of us might be mortars, and some of us that. Well, I will not say that. Some yeah. of us will get spiritual powers, but whatever Yahweh Shem Shai has for us, it's better than what Esau has, which is death. This is Revelation 3 and 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. You know? And as many as Yahweh Shem Shai loves, he rebukes, man. And he's going to rebuke you through men, elders. It may be a brother in your camp, you know? It may be somebody you do videos with constantly. You know, it may be somebody who watches your channel, you know, in the form of, you know, somebody who, who's more experienced, an elder in this truth, you know, and that's out of love, man, you know, to help and make you and refine you into fine gold, man, you know. And ultimately, that's through Yahab, that's through the uh, Yahab Hashem Rashi putting the, the, the angels, you know, that spirit on, on the, the, the brothers. Putting that thought in the Yeah, putting mind. that thought, yeah, you know, when he was sleeping, drool, yeah, that kind of, kind of, yeah, so, yep. Yeah. And so that, that's what it actually is, you know? So it's not just someone coming out and, oh, you know, I believe I'm going to just get on this Yeah, brother. I'm just going to yeah. get on this. Nah, man, you know? I got you know? Job. And sometimes it feels like that, yeah. you know? Because, nah. again, we're I in the flesh. Really know me, like, what the nah. hell? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But, again, you got to take it, you know, you got to have that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have such skin, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, you, know? yeah. you can't be, can't be bitch soft. Made. You yeah, can't soft. be bitch made, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't call it what it is. Yeah, you can't be Esau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a precept say, Rag 30 and 1, the Apocrypha, He that loveth his son causeth him often to feel the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. And that rod is provided to authority, man. Yep. Who's that authority? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai gives authority to certain men, okay, uh, primarily the prophets, to reveal, uh, you know, brothers, man, so they can get better and correct. Okay, 30 and 4. Uh, this is, uh, say, Rag 30. You said, uh, 3 and 4? Uh, 30 and 3. Uh, 30 and 3, it's like rag 30 and 3. He that teacheth his son, and who's the son? Uh, the nation of Israel, primarily of the elect. Yep. He that teacheth his son, grieveth the enemy. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. And the apostles have taught their spiritual sons, man. And that grieves Esau, man. Yeah, he, because he gets offended. Yeah, he gets offended. You know, because right. Esau wants us to say uh, niggas, figures, you know, uh, porch monkeys. You know, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, he wants you to die in blackness. He wants you to die being, you know, uh, yeah. calling yourself an El Salvadorian, Honduran, Guatemalan, a Chicano, uh, a Chicano yeah. a, 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 a Haitian, you know, a Dominican. You know, he wants us to be at odds with each other. He wants you to ride around with, with, with your strap. With your pants hanging off your ass. Your pants yeah. hanging off your ass with another man's wife. Bumping drill music. Bumping drill music. Yeah. Uh, Proof. 
You know what I mean? A passion and, uh, with drugs in your car. Yeah. You know to be able to sell to your brethren. Yep. Eating um, eating uh, <laughs> what the brother always says. Uh, and then every now and then, and every now and every now and now every now and then you throw up a Bible verse on your social media, and then you go to a church and eat a pork sandwich right afterwards. Yeah. Oh, you got your cross around your neck. You know, you got your cross around your neck. You know yep. what I mean? Um, you know, brothers will say you're deep. Oh man, that guy's he's got he's got catfish wisdom. You know, yep. you go go to the barber shop. Yep. Okay, you know, that's, and that's what you saw Edom wants you to actually be like. But and then when you come to the oh, you walk around, you got the unk on. Oh yeah, you got oh, the unk. Oh yeah, you, yeah. yeah and and he, not just any unk, hey, brother. He knows. Uh, oh, wait for your yeah. yeah. He knows stuff. Oh, with the koofy. You know, yeah. you got the koofy <laughs> on. Koofy with him. Koofy with him. Yeah, you that koofy. They make it all sense. You, you, you like the one dude that uh, uh, live in color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the one skin. David, is that David, David Alger? Yeah, yeah. Perpetualism of the imperialism. You know. shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and the offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that, that before they call, I will answer and I will, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Which happened in the book of Exodus. Yahweh Shemiah Shai heard our cry, man, and he sent Moses and Aaron 
to go declare his marvelous works to Pharaoh. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, just like he's hardening the modern day Pharaoh's heart. Yeah. Because we're sending out our cry to the Heavenly Father through the YouTube, through the you know the highways and byways, you know. And what are we saying? Let my people go. Yeah. You know, <laughs> start, starting with the elect. Yep. So you want to get the account, uh, Exodus, the, uh, yeah, the fourth chapter. Uh, fifth chapter? Yeah. Which finished on uh, Hebrews 6. You said you got it right, bro? Yeah, 11. Yeah. Hebrews 6 and 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. Yeah. So it's showing you that uh, it's not about uh, you as a group. You you Now you, uh, you work together as one accord, you know, brotherly love, as a body, right? But you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, you got to play your own part. Yeah, you got to play your own part. So yeah. whatever that it may be, hold and pose. Um, you know, maybe just uh, you know, praying for the brothers, whatever that your office is, it's, it's very important to the body. Okay, this is uh, uh, back up on that yeah. point. This is Second Peter uh, one and ten. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly in the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. The yep. everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Hamashiach, and it says, "An entrance shall be abundantly, in, uh, shall be." Uh, I'm gonna start again from the top. For an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahushua Hamashiach. Right, 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 right. It says in the book of Luke, 18, uh, the book, the book of Luke, the 18th chapter. It says in the book, the Luke, it says in the book of Luke. Uh, 18 to 8, he shall avenge the elect speedily, you know? Okay. It also says that he, in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, he had care for his elect, you know? That's a high office, man, and that's why men are doing all we can to be of that number, man, yep, yep. because it's a it's a huge difference between being of the 144,000 and just some Jake reborn in the kingdom, man. You yeah, know? because you might come in the... Uh, the last day of Esau Edom being You might come after Esau Edom destroyed. Yep. You know? Yep. You miss out on all the fun. <laughs> you know, in, in, the, in the form of, you know, putting hell in these heathen, man. Yep. You, you, you miss out on seeing Esau destroyed. You know, you miss out on having, you know, Moab out there, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Under your subjection as far as hardcore subjection. Like, you know? Like King David did in the book of Samuel. Yeah. He had a Moab and, and, and slavery. Man. There. Uh, he had them all in garrisons, man. Oh, you know, he, he, Esau in garrison. You know, Moab became David's servant, and yes, Yahweh Shemashai preserved David whatsoever he went. Yes, sir. You know, he's doing that to the house of David, you know, in this modern day eon. You know? So to finish off, uh, Hebrews, what was it, uh, 6 and 11. Yeah, 6 and 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. The end of what? Esau's kingdom. Uh, verse 12, there's a point right here, too. That, that ye be not slothful. We go to that word slothful and it's lazy, man. Yeah. It can be lazy. Yeah, you got to be fervent in the spirit, you know, not lukewarm, right? But followers of them who through faith and patience, like the prophets in the scriptures, inherit the promises. Like who received the uh, temples of those who received the promises, our ancestors, uh, Joshua and uh, Caleb. For when God made promise to Abraham, he could, he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, uh, a reference to the book of Genesis. <coughs> yeah, but real quick, because yeah. because even Moses didn't make it to the to the land. What was it? Uh, you know, the, he wasn't able to receive the the um, the, the promises as far as in that time. Uh, okay, but he was doing the work. Okay, then he you know, of course, reincarnation and different uh, spirits, right? Came okay, back in Zerubbabel. Yeah, in Zerubbabel. Okay, so it's showing you that your work is not in vain. That's that's the point. Of what I'm trying to say. It says verse fourteen. Surely blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so, after he had patiently endured, and only patiently enduring <laughs> for the return of Yahweh Shai, and he obtained... Patience, real quick. Yep, patience, patience goes into long-suffering. Our Lord is yep. long-suffering, okay? Now, we've been, in, in, um, we've been in captivity for, you know, what, 2,000 years, you know, basically, yeah. right? So, but, but the thing is, is that um, uh, one day to the Lord is a thousand years to us, okay? As far as on, on this earth. So, really, it's only been uh, three days to the Lord, okay? So, you know, and he's, he does, you think he forgot? You think Yahweh Shai forgot? Okay, the men of the Lord that are um, that are asleep, you think they forgot? No. Okay, and then, of course, the prophets that are that are here today, or where were all those men? 
Yeah. Uh, to finish off the, uh, the point, this is uh, Ibu facing to the team. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. All right, for that. Right. Right. You want to receive the promise, the kingdom of heaven, you got to work patiently endured. Yep. Be long suffering. Real quick, this is Sirach 2 and 1. My son, if thou come serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set that heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. So, the time of trouble that we're, that we're heading to. What, Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. Okay, the trouble that we've even been through just being in the truth. Whatever that we had to, um, you know, let go in this world, ultimately, Yahweh on our side took it away. Okay, whatever things that, that, that are coming to us. Okay, because things are about to start turning up after the Pazak, right? We know that things start to, uh, what, elevate. It says, uh, Sirach 2 and 3. And that's, and that's why you have all these, uh, bug outs bugging out. There was a, a chick that was... Oh, yeah, she was yeah, true. She met, uh, oh, yeah, she's like, Pastor the Hall, Pastor yeah, Rama. Yeah. She's like, I need my rent paid. She, she, she had all different types of spirits on her. She today is the pass. I know today is the Passover. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what's fucked up, That's bro. one of those spirits in Egypt, uh, you know, eventually that got destroyed. And, you know, yeah. oh, they had no faith. They had no faith. Aaron, what's up with that calf? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually, oh, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, came to, uh, came to, you know, uh, visit that person, man. You know? Says a Sirach 2 and that's, and, a that's a scary thing. Man. Yeah, that's a fearful thing to fall in Hebrews yeah. 10 and 30 and 31, right? Because that means that she heard the truth and was rejected. Yeah, because of so to, to know the hard, to, to the, know the elder's name, yeah. you know, <laughs> to know who Esau or Edom is, to know who's about the grapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew about the Karaga, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. And that's the thing about um, those that put their hands to the plow. Uh, okay, and then what, when then they, they go back out into the world. So now you have this uh, captive knowledge. You have all the yeah. knowledge. You know what Esau, even if you know who Esau Edom is, right? The self-proclaimed white man. You know all these things, but now you're just in the world. You don't have that refuge. You don't have that shelter. And I believe in one of those videos that uh, I think it was one of the elders in uh, South Carolina that made a video. I think that, that Eve, she was uh, smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah she, had black she had a black and yeah. mild. Yeah, she had a black and mild. <laughs> and talking shit, man. That's yeah. how you know she, she has legion. And what's the legion? Of uh, all I things, the smoke, a black yeah. and mild. You yeah. Know? yeah. St stuck in that spirit of blackness. Yep. Gross darkness, man. Yep. Gross yep. darkness. You know? This is uh, a yeah, Roman. Black. <laughs> yeah, this is a. Uh, Acts, Acts 28 and 24. I'm going to get 3 and 23 because it goes together hand in hand. Acts 3 and 23, and it reads. Acts 3 and 23. If I can get it, it's right here. Yep. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. And that's one of those spirits that's brought back just to hear the word, just to deny it, just to talk shit and murmur, just like the children of Israel did in the wilderness against Moses and be destroyed to the destroyer. This is uh, Acts 28 and 24. And he reads, and some believe the things which were spoken and some believe not. Yeah, that's the difference between the one third and the two thirds here in America, man. Some believe and some don't believe. And Yahweh Shai, which is the word. This is uh, Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Yes. Should their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? The Most High forbid. Ah, hell no. Yep. Right. Yea, let the Most High be true, yes. but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. It speaks about that in Second Ezra it's, uh, 15, I think it's 3. It speaks about what their incredulity, which means their unbelief. Done. They shall die in their own, um, you know, their, their unfaithfulness. All the faithful, are the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, and then also speaks about... Not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Yeah, come. That speak against thee. Yeah. Come. And also, uh, what is the Second Ezra 9, where it speaks about not, not don't worry how the, uh, the unrighteous are judged. Yep. <laughs> You're not worried. Worry about how the righteous are saved. Yep. Roughly fairly. I'll probably bring those out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brother Oz mentioned that we're murmuring, right? This is uh, Psalms 106 and 21. They forgot God, Yahweh their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Man, these are things that seen the miracles, man. They seen the chariot. You know, they seen the angel of the Lord that was following them, man, you know. But the pillar of a fire by night. They saw a Moses departing the, uh, the Red, Red Sea. sea. First like, of all, how were they, they seeing the they, they, they were seen, getting fed. They seen they the plagues. Yep. Yeah. Hey, the ten plagues. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, those were those were those were highly <laughs> spiritual things. 
Rivers turn to blood, man. Still didn't believe you know, that. flies, man. You know, just frogs up and up and all up and everything in the oh, oven. Yeah, the you know what I'm saying? And the, the lights, the uh, the uh, what the uh, the boils. Oh yeah. God. You know. And uh, also the in that time the what the bewailing of, of people. Yeah. People the first, screaming the, out. The killing of the first yeah, one, the, man. Yeah. yeah. And who was the one that was sent to put that hit out? That death angel. You know, right, it was that, was that death angel, man. Yeah, I was shy, man. Yeah. They, 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 they call it in the world, they call it the, the Green Weaver. Yeah. Yep. Yahweh Shai is that Green Weaver, man. <laughs> and who gave you the dream? Uh. Yahweh. Okay, yeah. Yahweh gave you the order. Okay, yeah, he's the one that sent Yeah, He's the one that sent that order, right? And, and, and that's, dude, that's, that shows you the duality of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because at the same time in Ezekiel 9 and 4, while he's sending out death angels to put to death women, children, yeah. old, young, they're sparing the men that have the mark, the oh, tawah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's perfect balance, man. Yeah. You know? Which those were the Israelites. Okay. Yeah. He didn't you know? even say the thing. That's perfect balance. He didn't balance, say Pharaoh's man. kings. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know? They got just like the same thing. No heathen's going to be saved. Yep. No Jeremiah heathen's, 30 and 16. Yeah, no man. heathen's going to be saved. All those that spoil, they should be a spoil, man. Yep. Every one of our, our adversaries is going into captivity, man. Okay. You know, you doo doo speaking, uh, you doo doo speaking Hamites, you know? The, there was a uh, there was a video of him last week. He had his nose all up in the cow's booty. Oh, oh yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And then he went out there and tried to get a kiss. <laughs> and that shows you that that's that's a different nation of people, man. Because our people don't do that. Those are those no lost that says right here, bro. Psalm 106 and 22. Wondrous works in the land of Ham. Yep. You know, Ham being those that are heathens, you know, that are doing some nasty shit, bro. And what did Ham do? In Genesis, the ninth oh. chapter. Oh. He, he, yeah. uh, we were talking about this when we were yeah, grilling, yeah. we were grilling out, uh, uh, we were cooking, Sunday. yeah. <laughs> Ham, when Noah got drunk, he went in yeah, and, yeah. and, 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 and uh, see Noah naked and was talking <laughs> shit, you know? Like, look at, look at that, look, you know, look, you know, no, and that's look, 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 look at that pot, man, nigga drunk, look at that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Talking shit, and then what happened after that? Let's get that account. That's why they, yeah. that's you know? why they were uh, punished, uh, right? Japheth yeah. and, uh, and Shem, they covered their father's nakedness, man, and they walked in like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, pot, hey, you know what I'm saying here, here man. And, and even in the world, you, that, that's how you can see the separation between Cut. Ham and, um, and, and the Israelites. Well, the Egyptians okay. were, were big time homophobes, man. Yep. They, that's why they had the eyeliners, you know? They, uh, yeah. they, they, they shaved their heads bald, they were in the hump in their sisters, yep. you know? And that's showing you the, um, cause that, that's actually that account is when, um, Cut. when Yahweh Shemi Arashai, or Yahweh Arashai said to go out and preach, but not to the Samaritans. Yep. Okay. Which, yeah, uh, the Samaritans. Matthew uh, 10. Yeah, because yeah, Matthew um, 10, which, the, were, which were the in the Book of Kings, it when a, after the Northern Kingdom fled and moved to uh, and, and went to the Americas, yeah, those so kings um, started. I believe. I believe. I want to say Nebuchadnezzar. Um, one of those kings started moving heathens into the land. And that's how you got the account of the woman at the well who right. thought she was an Israelite, and Yahweh had to tell her, "Hey, yeah. you know, salvation is of the Jews." You, we, you worship, you know not what. We worship, we know what we worship, for salvation, for salvation is of the Jews. Yeah. Now, if salvation was for everybody, you would have said salvation for Ham, you yeah, know, the it's, 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 for, it's, for, it's for the dirty pork uh, yeah. nation, you know, Ham, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, talk. It's, for, it's for Moab, it's for everybody, it's not for everybody, man. Because what happened is, um, in the book of Kings, I believe it's the 17th chapter, I think it's the first, book of first Kings, or uh, maybe second, 17th chapter, I know for sure. I went to that account, I did a video on it. Um, after a while, um, when after they moved those Samaritan, after those Samaritans and those other nations came into the land, lions start tearing their asses up, yep, yep. and that, they had to move a, a Levi priest into the land yeah. to teach those people to fear Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Mm -hmm. After a while, those nations started to worship the Heavenly Father mm -hmm. and think that they were Israelites. Right. That's why the account of um, um, in the Book of John, the fourth chapter, the woman at the well. That's why she got checked. That's yep. why Yahweh Hashem checked her. Like, hey, you know, yeah. you, you know, this is for us, right? Yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because right, even right, in this man. time right now, you know what I mean, over uh, here in San Diego, you could tell the difference between a, a Jake yeah. and, and, and a Kush. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, night. you might say, oh, they're the same color, see, yeah. you're, you're, you're not uh, spiritually discerned. Kush has okay. got them big old hands. Yeah, and they're, yeah. they're just completely they're yeah. different. They don't have the salt. All, for, all foreheads. Like this. That's the whole point. You know, <laughs> my shit's got this. <laughs> yeah, but... The thing right, is, right. is that they don't have no salt. That's yeah. that's how you're able to know. And they don't have any sense. They, 
again, the brother in the Super Bowl needs to do is in the cow or whatever. Yeah. And that, the mobiles do the same thing. They be yeah. hanging out, with, you know, with bats and yep. eating bats and shit like that. You know, that's, that's not because be they weren't given the law. And, that, yep. what, and, and also, there's been uh, videos of Esau on social media. This big old buff ass Edomite eating raw cow brains and uh, raw eggs and so on and so forth because he can do that. That's his nature. We do that shit. We get sick. We'll die. Yeah. yeah. Because the law, statutes, and commandments, the dietary law wasn't given to these nations. Man. That's why. You know, uh, that's Ishmael, why people have diabetes, Ishmael, and Moab, yeah. so on and so forth. They can eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster all day, yeah. every day till the sun go down, and nothing more happen to them. Jake, eat that. Your, your, your granny, your auntie, she got to get her foot cut off. Oh, Deion Sanders. Yeah, he got his toe. Toes amputated. Oh, and now he and he true. used to do the uh, what was the dance? He used to do the dance and know, back in from, the 90s. I, I believe he's from Florida. He's from Florida. Yeah, a lot of them Florida Jakes, you know what they be, he's right by the bayou. You know what they be doing, man. Yep. He eating that crab oil, seafood oil, gator. gator. You know, gator. I grew up eating that, man. Well, you know? Throw the mask yep. off. Yep. Yep. Uh, Alligator gator. tails, yep. the hot sauce, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And Jake think they be grubbing, you know what I'm saying? But you're actually just eating all abominations. You got the northern king that eats. I always bring it up, the ceviche. Oh, ceviche kind of, oh, yeah. the tamales, the tamales yeah, yeah. with the octopus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and yeah. They have the, at the, at the taco truck up here, they have the yeah. octopus, yeah. you know, so on yeah, and so exactly. forth. Yeah. yeah, you see, you see, uh, you see in Zebulon, it's crazy, you carrying that shit up. <laughs> you know? yeah. So real quick, this is Matthew 10 and 5. It says, these 12, Yahweh Shai, sent forth and commanded them, saying, go not in the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. So the way of these, uh, these Samaritans were Cushites. Okay, going out the ways of, of them. Don't don't teach them. Okay, showing you showing you that these it's not for these other heathen nations. It says, but go uh, six, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, and as you go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah, so the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Showing you Yahweh Shai is at hand. Okay, he's at he's coming to the throne. But what does he do? He brings. Um, he brings the, what the prophets, the men of the Lord, to be able to speak his word, to be able to give him warning. He's not going to come down yeah. and, and directly with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a truth that says that Yahweh wants to come on earth and the whole, uh, the whole organism will actually get put to death. Yep, because they're not Sour. pure. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, continuing fire. So I got that. that oh, yeah. Get real quick, yeah, I'll go into the accounting uh, in Second Kings, the 17th chapter, talking about the scenario. So this is from the uh, Zonda Van Bible Dictionary. Okay, it says, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about maybe six years before the flood, and of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became, he's a he, Ham, right? Ham became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negro, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. He, his uh, infancy, when his father lay drunken, brought a curse upon Canaan. That, that's the account of Ham. Uh, to further prove that, you know, Ham is not a, a accord with the, the southern kingdom, the so-called Negro. Uh, real quick, the account here in Genesis 19.22, going into Ham, and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father. Yep and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. Yep, and Shem is the, uh, you know, is the, uh, one of the sons of God, you know, and uh, Japheth is uh, the so-called Pacific Islanders, the sons of God going back to Yasha Allah. You know, which is in that land of Russia. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, Leviticus 18. The, the sons of Japheth, you know? the sons of Japheth occupied what's now known as Russia. Yeah. And then when Esau came in as the Greeks, he pushed them out and they moved it to the Pacific Islands. Yeah. So that's why in certain accounts, they'll talk about the sons of Japheth, um, you know, Magog, uh, Tubal, Meshach, um, so on and so forth. Because it's talking about the nations who now occupy those lands after Japheth was ran out. But it's yeah. actually talking about Edomites. In most, in most cases, we're talking about end time. And, and a, lot of the, a lot of the books that, uh, that talk about you know, end time prophecy, it's, it's talking about the nation of Esau Edom. But if you go into the books like Isaiah, um, like I would say like the, uh, 13, uh, the 17th chapter, I believe, um, so on and so forth, it's talking about the actual prophetic people. Um, you know, when they did uh, trades and so on and so forth, and they had um, um, 
my mind, the actual terminology that's used in the scripture. Is it Tefet? Um, uh, they're talking about uh, Allah and Spain. Yep. Um, they had the, uh, slip of my mind. I, I know you're talking about the, the, the Isaiah, economy. the 11 chapter. Uh -huh. Speaking about what they were making, they were making trades with the economy, as far yeah. as the line. I'm right here. I'll just get it real quick. So, you know, certain things to be thinking about. And this is this Kud, Abdul, Shilam, Zara, Be an highway for the remnant of the people. I think it's a detail. Slide, slide. It's one of them. But it's talking about how they did trading um, in those lands along Spain. I'm forgetting the actual name. But to add correction, I said Nebuchadnezzar, it's actually Shalomanezzar. It's like it. You know, there's one that's slipping with the tongue, but not with his heart. But in 2 Kings, Shalomanezzar moved those heathens, the Samaritans, into the land after the northern kingdom. You know, went to the Americas, man. You know? Uh, this is, uh, Isaiah 69? No, no, no. Yeah, I typed in Spain and it came out here. No, Spain not, or in England. No, it doesn't mention Spain. It mentioned, um, Togomar. Togomar and, um, Tarshish. Oh, uh, Ishmael 38 and 6? Tarshish. It talks about Tarshish. And they were doing trading. In Gomer and all his bands. Yeah, yeah. So, these are the sons of Japheth, but it talks about Tarshish, you yeah, know, and they were doing all sorts of trading as far as um, in the ancient times when the sons of Japheth occupied those lands. It also talks about when uh, was in, when Solomon was in his navy to the Americas. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it would take three years, so on and yeah. so forth, and it talks about year that. and a half there. And it, was, it was mentioning those same names of those tribes, and, you, know, you know, some of those accounts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, That's second merchant, Tarshish. Yeah, Ezekiel 27. All right, well, bring it out. No, it's all good, brother. This is uh Second Kings 17, and I'm gonna get right to the point. And 20 and 20 um yeah, I'm gonna read down to 29. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, Ezekiel seven. Uh, so this is Second Kings. It's like it. Second Kings 17. And 20, and it reads, And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them and delivered them into the hands of spoilers until he had cast them out of his sight. For he rent Israel from the house of David and made Jethroam, the son of Nebat, king, and Jeroboam drave Israel from following Yahweh and made them a great sin. And they were, you know, being idolatrous, man. You know, the northern kingdom, man. And, and it reads, until the Lord removed Israel, talking about the northern kingdom, out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants, the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto this day. And the king of Assyria, Shalomaneser, brought men from Babylon, and from Kuthath, and from Ava, and, ha and from Hamath, and from Sepharaim, and placed them in the cities of Samaria, northern Israel, you know, the northern, what, uh, the north, where the northern kingdom as well. Samaria is the capital. Yeah, Samaria is the capital. This is uh, 2 Kings 17 and 24 in the middle. And placed them in the cities of Samaria and sent the children of Israel, and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. And it was at the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not Yahweh. Therefore, Yahweh sent lions among them, which slew some of them. 2 Kings 17. Another miracle. Yeah, right. second king, second king, seventeen twenty six. Well, lions just started attacking you. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, that's what we want, y'all. About to start yeah. talking. Well, Elisha, man. Yeah. You know. You get the the the, 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 the she bears, man. She bears attacked, uh, you know that, that 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 whipped and mauled like what forty some children. Yeah, all bald heads. You know, right. go up thy bald head. Yeah. No, that that's witchcraft as well, right? You know. Yeah. That, that 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 you know. Yeah. Well, Esau Edom did. I mean, he, he didn't do that. Yeah, how was Shai raising people from the dead? Yeah. You know. The apostles doing the same thing, you know? Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter, man. Yeah. People wanted to pass by the shadow of Peter. Well, you had an actual sorcerer when you read the account when uh, that sorcerer or that warlock saw the uh, miracles of Peter. He tried to buy the Holy Spirit. He tried to buy the Holy Spirit with money. Yeah. And uh, Peter told him what? I rebuke you. You yeah, can't buy the Holy, yeah, the Holy Spirit with money. Yeah, yeah, get away from us, man. Yeah. You know, we ain't having that, man. Oh, this he called him a child of the devil. Yep. That's how he called him. Yep. That's yep. showing you, and that's also showing that you can't buy this word. Yeah. Their money, their money doesn't, uh, you know, 
just like the fiat Richie's currency. Talking about, <laughs> Richie's talking about in the day of rest. Yep. Because just yep. like your, the fiat currency and how they're changing, the, you're, you're not going to be able, that's not going to work. Also, that's going to put the change. Uh, your riches, and you want to get uh, your riches on my cover? You want to get that over the Because yeah. you already went to the... Uh, Mossy? 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 Yeah, yeah. Your, your, uh, your, your gold is... James? Your gold, yeah, from James. Your gold is tankered. Yep, your gold is... I think it's like five or three, something like that. Yep. Yep. Your gold is tankered. Your riches are mossed eaten. Uh, can up, I bro? give you a count real quick with that warlock? No, I'm talking about okay, okay, James five and two? Yeah, James five and two. Yeah. I'll get this account of King. Oh, yeah, Cun, because... The news wrap on and this is also speaking about this chapter, speaking about those uh, rich men. Yeah. Okay. Um, so one, but what's Yeah, yeah. James five and one, because I was going to bring this out earlier. And speak, so this is spirit. So James five and one. Go now to you rich men, weep and howl. Uh, yeah, James 5 and 1. Go now, you rich men, weep and howl, for your miseries you shall come upon you. So again, um, you know, I'll speak about it in Revelation 18 that what's going to happen, these uh, other nations, they're not going to be, they're going to be sorrowful because they're not going to be able to get, um, they're not going to be able to eat off their poor anymore, right? Their poor is not going to be, um, their bottom bitch is going to be knocked out, right? So James 5 and 2, because again, there's going to be terrible troubles. All these things that they think that they're going to be able to accomplish, like the New World Order, the Nova Source Sephorium, it's, it's all going to come to naught. But James 5 and 1, 5 and 2, sloppy. James 5 and 2, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. So again, yep. your wealth is rotting away, your fine clothes are moth eaten rags. So again, again, a shame shall cover you. You know, for, for all the wickedness that you've done to our people. Okay, shame, uh, I think that's in, uh, That's okay. what happened in Second Kings. Yeah. Let's read about it. Okay. And it reads, uh, yep. Yeah. And, and so it began, so it was the beginning of their dwelling there, talking about the Sumerians, the, um, the, uh, the Slack, it was talking about the people who dwelt in Samaria, the children of Kuat, I'm going to read again, and the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon, and from Kutat, and from Haba, and from Hamat, and from Sabarium and placed them in the cities of Samaria, the capital of northern uh, Israel, right. instead of the children of Israel, and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not Yahweh. Therefore, Yahweh sent lions among them, which slew some of them. Wherefore, they spake to the king of Assyria, the nations that thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria, Know not the manner of the Most High, of the uh, know not the manner of the power of the land. Therefore, he sent lions among them, and behold, they slayed them because they know not the manner of the power of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, "This is the Solomon Ezra, the king of Assyria." Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, "Carry thither one of the priests whom he brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there." and let him teach the manner of the power of the land. Then one of the priests whom they carried away from Samaria came into Bethel, and they taught them how they should fear Yahweh. And that's how you got the woman of the well who was a heathen who thought that she was an Israelite, man, because the, she was one of the children of the, the heathens that were moved into the land by King Solomon Ezer. That's like it for saying Nebuchadnezzar, man. Sort of sound familiar. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, 2 Kings 17 and 29 to wrap on up. Howbeit, every nation made gods of their own and put them in the houses in the high places that the Samaritans had made, and every nation in their in their cities dwelt therein. Yeah. You know? And you had Jake that was highly into witchcraft, man, back then, you know? Uh, especially, you know, the Northern Kingdom. You know, Jeroboam, you know? Rehoboam was the. Uh, the king of the southern kingdom, and he had Jeroboam, you know? Yeah, Jeroboam, the uh, king of the, uh, the northern kingdom. Yep. Yeah, I want to back you up because you mentioned the, uh, the lions, right? Yep. Uh, like Rag 39 and 30, teeth of wild beasts, lions, and scorpions, serpents. Uh, you start with 28. Uh, this is uh, say Rag chapter 39 and verse 28 in the Apocrypha, and it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Yep which in their fury lay on sore stroke in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and the peace the wrath of them that made them. Now, it's pretty interesting um, because when the pandemic all first broke out, 
uh, you had a lot of the uh, people not working at the zoos anymore, and you had a lot of cities where the zoo animals were let loose. Oh, like bears? Yeah, bears. bears. You've seen uh, tigers, lions, snakes. Snakes. You know, um, also in Northern California, you had a lot of people um, abandon those small towns, and then bears started coming into oh, the town. Yep. You know, yeah, that you had that happen about six months ago where a bear actually came into the store and it was, it was, it was, right? yeah, I did a video on it. There's a Filipino okay. lady, a Japanese lady, oh, like, she's she scared. <laughs> get that out of here, bear. Get that out of here, bear. No, 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 no. She was crying and shit, man. Yeah, and, also, and that's going to happen again, man. Yeah. And also, you know, the what, season what? wild beasts. You know, the, the, and, the, and the beast shall change their places. That's in the book of Second Ezra, the fifth chapter. I think it's the eighth verse. Right. You know? Uh, and also, what did they do with those animals? They jabbed them up. Mm. They got the Beetlejuice, too. Okay? And and that then, shows you just <laughs> the diabolical of Esau, man. He just can't even let the beast just chill, man. Yep. You got to defile the beast. Because what did he do with the monkeys? He's the one that ran all those, uh, those pests on him. Well, they okay, they send, up, they send them up into the uh, into so called uh, space. Senate. Yeah. You know what I mean? Send them no. up to space, you know. This and then what? It, uh, real quick, uh, Elon Musk. What did he do? He gave uh, the the karagmas to the oh, pigs. Yep. Yeah. Also okay. a monkey. Yeah, the monkey. Yeah, the, the monkey was playing video games. Uh, with the mind. <laughs> this is uh, this is Second Ezra five and eight, and it reads: There shall be a confusion in many places, and the fire shall be sent off out again, mm -hmm. and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Yeah, GMO, mm -hmm. baby. Yep. And prime example of a GMO baby is that clip we had the young Judite, uh, the Judite kids kicking their grandma in the stomach, man, beating grandma. Oh, I seen that video, bro. You know? I showed it to my mom. My mom was fucking mad. She's yeah, like, come man. On, come on, get some, get some, get and, <laughs> and, and you had, it sounded like the parents filming it, man. Oh, God. God. Wicked ass, it sounded like a black woman, man. Yep. Wicked ass Eve, man. Oh, you for TikTok videos and shit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. what what I don't know I don't know if you peeped out the last part of that video, but in the last part of the video, what she hand one of the children, a pot, mm -hmm. man, a, a steel pot, oh, man. Cooking, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. Talking to you monster, know? or what are they called? Yeah, What's that they, example yeah. of a uh, uh, woman will bring out monsters' uh, children? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a yeah. perfect yeah. example. Women shall bring forth. Uh, get that in the NLT. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because that's, so that's what's uh, happening. Second, Why? Five because the, the, the woman, the, two, the, the woman is put at the top the instead of yep. the instead of the man. Okay. And then the man, what? They glorify Esau, Edom. They don't glorify Yahweh Shema Asai. See, when you when Yahweh Shema Asai stirs up that pure mind, you you're able to know the head. And who's the head? Yahweh. Then it goes Yaharashai, and then it goes um the man, then the woman, then the child. Okay, that's the order. And then it goes, in, of course, to the men of the Lord, the royal priesthood, right? And so when you put the woman, which they started with the, the feminist movement, I think her name was Gloria, Gloria, Gloria Simon. Gloria Simon, they started that feminist bullshit, okay? Yep. Then then they brought out, uh, then, of course, you had, uh, you know, a wicked-ass uh, uh, black woman on the, on, the, on the side, right right on the side of that. And what did they do? Then they started to bring in uh, the welfare system. You know, taking the man out of the house and then putting the woman woman at the head. And that created uh, monstrous, uh, monstrous uh, GMO babies that you see today. Okay? Because, again, they didn't, have, they didn't have a father in their life going back to the curses. And this is all part of uh, Esau Edom's plan. Okay? His diabolical plan. But he didn't know that Yahweh Shemir Asai was going to wake up the elect and the remnant. Lord willing, we're all that number. And he finally got him with a trick bag. Exactly. Let's keep the news and wrap on up. Yeah, it's a setup. There's Second Ezra 7a in the GMT. The earth will break open in many places and begin spouting out flames. Wild animals will leave the fields, the fields and forests. After much period, women will bear monsters. Uh, that's in the uh, GMT. GMT version, man. How women are going to yeah, bring yeah, forth uh, uh, GMO babies, right? I already have it. I already have it. Okay, we're rebelling against their, their, their mother and their father because according to the law, if you go up, honor your mother and your father. Yeah. So going to the news? Ah, uh, we'll skip the news. Some of those news articles? Yep. May get that. That clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, it all got the channel, the, the backup channel, Fisher Channel 107. I don't know if I told you. Uh, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a strike in January from a video from August. That was like six months ago, seven months ago. Uh, no, the video was from August. They struck me in January, in January 18th, and I still can't upload that video. I still can't upload the video to that channel two months later. No? Yeah. 
I'm Lord's Lord that doesn't happen in the main church, you know. But I got a strike I got a strike, you know, Sunday, uh, Sunday night you know, for the video we did. You know? Oh the the grapples? Yeah, okay. guy going into the going into the, you know, the uh the Revelation the thirteen chapter. The target, the thirteenth chapter. Right. We call it the thirteenth chapter, you know. So I don't want to tell you how yeah. oh, you got to end, end, end it on this one. Matthew twenty four and thirteen. But he that shall endure to the end shall shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto the world, a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Yep, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a sign and a witness, man. Yep. And the sign that you have the end coming is the witnesses on the scene. Yep. You know, who you how about you, uh, shall will give power to. You want to get Revelation uh, 11 yep. and 3, and I will get power to my two witnesses. Yep. That's, that's who's coming, that's who's, and that's who ultimately kingdom. came back, is the ministry of Yahweh Shai, the prophets, and that goes back to men who had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Yep. Noah, he had the yep. testimony of Yahweh Shai. Yep. Moses the had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Enoch. You know, Enoch. Yep. You know? Which are all men of the Lord. Yep. Okay. And the two the two sticks are, are joined together. You have the northern and the southern kingdom standing right here beside you, man. You know, you yep. got Zebulun right here. You know, you got Issachar. You know, right here. And then you got the southern kingdom, man. Standing in solidarity, man. This is Esau, he's a worst nightmare. His brothers who's actually woken up and understand what's going on and understand the, the enemy and understand the will of the Heavenly Father. And that's to destroy this place, man. You know, the Lord Yahweh Shim Yashai does not slack concerning his promise. And his promise is to destroy Babylon the Great and be with the elect. And out on Ratazai, how Ratazai, we're of that number. Just real quick, Isaiah 60 and 1, arise and shine for the light is come. Okay, the light, what is that, is that vision? To be able to what? You're not in darkness no more. Okay, which is Yahweh Shai, this word. Thy light is come and glory of our Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is risen upon thee. So risen upon what? The men of the Lord. Okay, the remnant to, to be able to be on the, either the left side, right, to dishonor or to be able to honor. Lord willing, we're of that number to honor. Isaiah 60 and 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, right? And darkness means that you're in confusion. You don't know who you are. You're, you're calling yourself black, Mexican, okay, Indian, all these different things. And that's in gross darkness. It says, uh, in gross darkness, the people, but Yahweh Shema Shai shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So again, he rises upon the men of the, uh, you know, uh, pastors of his own heart. The, the light uh, shined upon them, and then they were able to go out uh, and do a reasonable service, and that's how you see the men of today. Let me get this brother's precept real quick. Sarak 35 and 3, this is from Prince of Yahweh 8. Shalom, Maki Yahweh Shemel Shai. Rakata. I see you constantly putting up this channel, man. He saw Edom striking me like crazy. You got Prince of Yahweh 9 now. I seen that. <laughs> you know? Hey, keep on enduring, man, you know? That's Brother Shawak? Uh, nah, this is the brother. He's always on the different live streams and different channels that I'm on. And I follow, too. Yeah, he's already on nine. I seen uh, Princey. I think I seen Princey. I might have seen. I don't know if he's on Princey. I was saying he might have it as a backup. This is uh, Sirach 35 and three. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to Yahweh, and to forsake righteousness and to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation. Be able to touch you. Right. Psalm what, we, what, 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 what did Captain Shah remind you of? 
the three holy children, man. That yeah. God, that, that furnace. Who that furnace. are who are uh, rescued out of the furnace by the angel of the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Yep. You know, and he was with them. He was yep. with the, the children of Israel. I will, I will you know be what I mean? with the three holy angels. Yeah. That's what he told Jacob. <laughs> yeah. You know. So this is Psalms uh, 23. And we're the remnant of Jacob, man. Yeah. You know. Right, because of Brother Aj mentioned that oil, that we consistently have that oil. Yeah. Yeah. And King David spoke about his uh, his cup running over yeah. with, what, with that oil. Uh, that uh, 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 I think uh, Yahweh said he spoke about the five bullets, the five foolish virgins. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, it turns. Yeah, because that's what you, you want that oil to, uh, to keep going to, so you can be able to and, see in darkness. Yeah, yeah. That reminds me, five foolish virgins. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't actually talking about virgins, he was talking about men that didn't have the oil. Men that, the men that didn't have the oil because it talks about the, the, the remnant. It's talking about in Revelation the 14th chapter, those men are virgins. Right. In the form of their speech doesn't have any guile in it, man. Yep. You know, yeah. But you have men who hear the truth and they were, they, they, it just goes in one ear and out the other. Yep. Or, or they endure for a minute and they, then they get offended and then they start blaspheming and then they start they start talking shit. Like uh, J. Nijah, J. J.D. Nijah, the guy that was talking shit with his hat covered, talking about you niggas. I don't know if you see that video. Uh, it, it was in the beginning of the, it was in the beginning of the video. Uh, the video I did this, this morning. Uh, you're not to know, but the elder, uh, the, I think it's like a, the, the big brother Prisha R from Dallas. He put up that video of the guy talking shit. And uh, to make a long story short, the guy's story is he used to be in the apostles' comment boards and brothers' comment boards. And, he, and a brother from the group chat, he was saying that he was on the Mississippi uh, elders' comment board. Like, why don't I get any views? And, Nobody's doing, nobody's, uh, <laughs> nobody's, uh, you know. Oh, he uh, got offended. Yeah, he got yeah. offended. He was like, nobody's, you know, I put all this work and time. Who, who, who gives a fuck, nigga? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Stop glorifying yourself. Dude, we're not yeah. in this for fame glory. <laughs> so what, you get a view. So what, you get 10 views. So you, so what, you get 100 views. So what, you get 1,000 views. If one of those people's the elect, job well done, man. That's yeah. enough. You know, yeah. you got brothers who get four or five, six views. And you still have elders watching their videos. You have the apostles watching their videos. It doesn't matter who uh, the number of people you have watching your videos. Because who's the elect? That's right. You know? Is, are you being watched by the elect? Are you teaching and building up the elect? Man? Are you coming with the true doctrine? Yeah. Because right. all, you know, Yahweh Shemir is seeing it all. Yeah. So he knows your true worth and your true intent of your work. So, again, we can keep it with sin. He's not unrighteous to forget your word. I desire vain glory. Yeah. yeah, and that's boasting. You're boasting in yourself. Yeah. Okay? Yahweh Shai hasn't even been glorified yet. Okay, we're glorified in his name, but yeah. I'm saying amongst everybody, so everybody knows that name of Yah Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. He gets his the credit. Is, yeah, he gets yeah. the credit. We, no. we, we're, we're just saying that we're joint heirs. No, he's, yeah. he's the reason why we're out here. Yeah, he's the yeah. reason. That's, that's yeah. uh, comforting. Okay, to know what's going to happen, to know who your adversary is, to know that you're a Hebrew. We just want to be part of the entourage. Yeah. Like, you know, you got, 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 you and say dwelling in his court. That's what it says in Matthew 22, that bid to the marriage, those that weren't accounted worthy, what happened? They had, they were scratching their teeth. They were cast into the darkness. <laughs> yeah, they were cast into the darkness. Time. Yeah. Right? So this is Psalms 23 and 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, oil my cup right run over. And that oil is the truth. And it says, yeah. well, my cup runneth over. Yeah. So you want your cup, which is symbolic to your mind. To run over with what? With wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scripture, right? right? That infinite wisdom of the hour by us now And that, that oil keeps that light burning, right? right. Isaiah 60 and 1. Arise and shine, for the light is come, and glory of uh, Yahweh Shemir Asai is arising upon me. Yeah, so right. glorying in what his name? Again, John 12 and 28. He's going to do it again, huh. right? For behold, number 2, Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but Yahweh Shemir Asai shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And that's, with Peter and that's, 1 why, you see, that's why you see the men waking up on the four corners of the earth, speaking the same thing, coming in the same name, same doctrine. Glorify, glorify Yahweh Shai, glorify the doctrine, not yourself. This right. is uh, 2 Peter 1 and 17. I'm going to read down to 21. This is a perfect way to close on out. And it reads, For we have received from the Father, for, for, for he received, watch it. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I, I was looking. 
I was looking to see if uh, any more meat I can eat off the bone. I thought it was 17. For he received power, for he received from power the Father, honor, and glory. When there came such a voice to him from excellent glory, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard, and when we were with him in the holy mount, 2 Peter 1 and 19, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, were unto you, ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shines in a dark place, that light that's in the gross darkness, so when you need to shine light in gross darkness, you need oil, you need fire. Done. You know, Sarai 39 and uh, 26. Yeah, because you know? what, uh, what is Babylon, uh, um, Babylon known as? Uh, go back to Babel, which goes back to confusion. Okay? Confusion. You're in confusion. You're in darkness if you don't know who you are. If, again, if you don't have that oil, you don't have that light burning, you're, you're in darkness. You, can, you, you know, just like a car. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, you're, at, you're at driving at night. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't got your lights don't work. Well, that's, 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 you, that's you who have oil for, but it only lasts like a day. Yeah, yeah. You know, a, a week. Yeah, you got again. Uh, the, was the Matthew that we that read Matthew 24? Yep. He that shall endure to the end shall be saved. Again, you got to endure. This is uh, Job 10 and 21. Before I go whence, I shall not return, even to the land of darkness. Yep. <laughs> the land of darkness, as pursuant to Psalm 23, yep. the valley of the shadow of death, which is here in America, in England. Yep. This is uh, Job. Because again, oh, real quick, Mama Chuck. The um, the vibration. Is everywhere Esau, Edom uh, pitches their tent. That's why it says prophesy against Mount Seir. Because everywhere has that same vibration. Yeah. That's why you have brothers over there in the UK saying the same thing. Yeah. Talking about oppression. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it's everywhere that we are. Because you spread that wine to everybody. Yeah, you transgressed you got Ishmael the wine. Off the wine. You know, yeah, women, want the, yeah. you know women want to wear pants, want to boys. drive. <laughs> sissy, bo sissy boys. You know, among, <laughs> Emily, um, among, among, uh, among the red dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Among among the uh, Ishmaelites, yeah. you know, and what does what, 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 what does Ishmael do? Well, they still have Eastern ways because what they'll do is they'll put them they'll put them right there in the middle of the sand. They'll dig a hole and they'll stone his ass, man. Oh yeah, they still do that. Yeah, I seen yeah. that on uh, ID last night. There was some person that was getting stoned crazy. Now all you, all you hear was like a whole yeah. bunch of rocks hitting that dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, split, and then all of a sudden, like after like 40 rocks hit him, he's just like, yeah, you know, through. Yeah. This is all. Put that fear on the people, man. And that's yeah, what that, would happen and, to and that's, And you would, and that's a public demonstration. Yeah. yeah. And that's the way, you know, things are gonna go back to. You know, we're gonna publicly demonstrate how you put it down, man. Right. Because it speaks about that with the children. If the children yeah. well, didn't listen, Psalms, Psalms 137 yeah, too. yeah. If the children didn't yep. listen to the to the parents, well, they, and then they would have the elders come speak to them. And then, the yeah, they, and then they would what? They would stone them because yep. why? Because that child, that child is not going to be able to listen. That child he's, has he's a, not, uh, he doesn't have a contrite heart. He's, you know? a gl he's a glutton. Yeah, he's a glutton. Yeah. Good. You know. You know. And so, like all these GMO babies, they would just yeah. be. Like they do, they get executed. Yep. You know what I mean? This they die at a young age, right? Job ten person. and twenty one. Before I go, before I go, whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. Matching up what you what you just said, Psalm twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. Job ten and twenty two. A land of darkness is darkness itself, right. and the shadow of death. Once again, shadow of death. That's identifying a place twice. Yeah. You know? Because everywhere. Uh, everywhere Esau, Edom pitches his tent is death. Well, He's known as death. Of and he is that death. Yeah, yep. good. And, but who got the victory over death? Yeah, yep. Okay. And the elect. Yeah, you know, the elect, uh, yeah. Revelation 15 and uh, 2. And I saw them that I got in the victory. Yep. You know? That means that you didn't take part. You weren't part of the... Uh, the over the, the Karagma. The, yep, the over his image. Uh, image it, yep. And over his name. And that was uh, John the Rebbe. And you know? his number. Yep, and yeah, his, his number. number. Yep. And also those that were beheaded for the gospel. Yep. You know, Revelation 20 and 4. Yep. You know? Those mortars. Because a death in truth, a death in this truth is not a loss. That's victory. Yeah. Because you're the first to rise when Hamashiach Yahweh Shai returns. Yep. Because right. there's men of the Lord that are asleep right now. And they're crying and sighing for all the things that, that, that are done on this earth. The righteous right now. brother uh, cries unto me. Yeah, you know, done. Second is the fifth. Yep. I think it's about so nine. We, we got, <laughs> yep. you know, we got the angels, the messengers. We're angels as far as in our, uh, I want to say, karate. Yeah, to yep. yeah, fleshly body. Okay? And then you got, the, you know, in the spirit world. Okay.
<laughs> Job 10 and 22, a land of darkness is darkness itself. Job 10 and 22, a land of darkness is darkness itself and the shadow of death without any order. Where the light is is darkness. Without any order. That's what Babylon the Great is, man. You know? Yeah, and what's an antonym for the word order? Chaos. Yep. You know? Order ab chaos. Order out of chaos. Which is what they're doing. Isaiah right 5 now. and 20. Yeah. Warn to him that call evil uh, good and good evil. Yeah. That's exactly what he does, man. Because this nigga is upside down. He's backwards, man. You know? Isaiah 29 and 16. Thou shalt surely turn things upside down. Mm. Yeah. Everything is upside down because you have the wicked in authority, man. People are complaining. You know? People are uh, starving. You know? Depressed. Depressed. Eaves through. That's you know? how you know it's in authority. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> when, uh, Proverbs when, when 29 wicked and 2. On authority? No, when the wicked, when the wicked bear of rules, yeah, yeah, the yeah. righteous. <laughs> when, when, the rich, when the wicked are in authority, yeah, yeah, people, you know, more, people yeah. more. When the righteous are in authority, people, people rejoice. rejoice. That's right. Who's rejoicing? Yeah. Well, more. the only ones rejoicing is those that have the knowledge, those that have the oil, those that have the understanding of the scriptures. You know? Because we went to the tabernacle of the Most High through this word, through a gift called faith, and we seen therein, man. You know, this is uh, Psalm 73 and 18, 73 and 17. And that's a miracle, man, being able to, uh, you know, see the future before it happens, like it tells you in the book of Isaiah 42 and, 42 and 9. 9. I would right. tell you the future before it happens. Because again, that's right. another, that's another miracle, okay? But you have to be able to believe, and when, when you believe, he that believes in me shall flow rivers of living water, John 7 and 38. Yeah. So this is uh, John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that you, me, and you might have peace. In the world, you read that one more time, bro. Yes. Okay. These things have spoken unto you, that in unto you, unto you. Yeah. That's, that's Yahweh that's speaking and this, to the. This is the Yahweh, yeah, son. This is Yahweh son speaking in red okay. letters. Hopefully, we are those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, John 16 and 33. Right. The things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world, you shall have tribulation. Yeah, in the world, you can catch hell while uh -huh. preaching the gospel. Go ahead. But be of good cheer. But be of good cheer. Go ahead. I have overcame the world. So Yahweh said, already came to death, man. You overcame the world of Esau and Edom. Yeah. Uh, that's also speaks about Sirach, uh, Sirach 2. Yep. Be cheerful. You know, say, you know you're going to enter 6 and 3. 1 Corinthians 15. I think about 26. It says, The last enemy that shall be defeated is death. Yep. And, you know? Yep. This is how Esau Edom. already conquered death, man. Yep. He already conquered Esau, man. You know, and, yeah, this book, this and, story and, was already written for the people. And physical yeah. death. Yep. The elect are going to conquer death double foe. Son. Death, as far as dying, they're going to be immortal, and they're going to conquer Esau. How about because that? His blood, yeah, it's his son. Because you know, our, his that's blood. a miracle, too, bro. Yeah. Overcoming the, the devil. Yeah. Yep. Double foe, his actual physical counterpart, and then this nigga Satan. Yep. Death. Mm. You know? That's bad Yeah. This is Psalm 73 and 16, and it reads, uh, I'll start with 15. If I say, um, yep, I'll, I'll go right to the point. Psalm 73 and 16, when I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went to the sanctuary of the Most High, then understood I their end. Through the Holy Scriptures, man, we understand their end. And their end is a fiery furnace, man. You know, they shall be a stubble. There shall be not one remaining of the house of Esau, man. Yeah, over that one and ten, and then over that one and eighteen, baby. Uh, and that's know? a miracle. Double in fold. And double that's a miracle fold. in itself that you believe in the doctrine. Yeah. <laughs> that in itself. We were sent to believe the unbelievable, man. Yeah. Like the elder, uh, the, the elder Birmingham says, man. Yeah. You know, and we believe, man. Therefore, we speak. You know. This is a uh, Second Peter one and nineteen again. We also we have also a more sure word of prophecy, a more sure word of prophecy. We're fully persuaded, man. The many Aobashimi Asha are fully persuaded. You see men out here in uh, the cold Denver, it'd be snowing and so on and so forth. <laughs> out there, you know, just still shivering. You see the apostles and yeah, elders yeah, out there, yeah. you know, with the big old huge gloves on, man. You see men out there, Take and uh, you see men out there, the, the brother in Hawaii, he'd be out uh, The brother in Hawaii, he'd be out there in like 89 degree weather, 95 degree weather. Oh, I see 80, doing the 80, 80, thing, yeah. 80 percent humidity, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You see the brother out there in Australia, he'd be out there in like 95, 96 degree weather. Oh, 90% humidity, yeah. you know, you got the brothers in different parts of the world where the weather is extreme. Um, Saskatchewan. You oh, yeah, that brother. Yeah, that brother. Yeah, he be like, you looking like a ninja, man. Yeah, he like, oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah. you know, but yeah, still but out there. Still out there, man, pushing yeah. the gospel, man. Again, uh, giving, 
diligent to make his call in the next short, short, man. That's right. You know? No matter the weather, in, in season, out of season. Yeah. Okay? You got you know. us coming out here. We, you know, got Esau coming up to the camp wanting to fight every other week. Hey, man. <laughs> the hell with Esau, man. Getting you getting know? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't going to happen again, though. Yeah. <laughs> we the camera off. <laughs> we can tell, though. Yeah. Back to the point, though. You know? You got to, you have to take this thing seriously, man, yeah. because we're coming in the last stages of this man's raid, raid to crown his enterprise, which is the beautiful son, the second exodus, man, you know, the second book of Acts, you're living, you're living, uh, you're watching men live it out, man, you know, that word exodus is a prefix, the EA is supposed to say the word exit, coming yep. out of captivity, and this is the last captivity, which is here in America, uh, on the great America, Con. this is, uh, second Peter 1 and 19, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but by holy men of the most high as they were moved by the holy spirit that's holy man we're, 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 doing we're doing that blueprint and, and who uh, creates that blueprint he's known as uh, they call the architect the architect gives that blueprint to, to, to a construction worker uh -huh. so they can what they can execute uh, the, the job Yep, Yahweh gives the decree to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai gives the decree to the Alahayim, which yep. is, the, which is the, the, the angels and also to the men of the Lord, the messengers, to be able to bring out forth his, his agenda. You know, just like when you, your boss, he don't do all the work. Yep. He has so, he tells someone else to go, you know, do the, do whatever the job may yep. be. And that's that's the service, okay? And that's what we are, Yahweh Shai, right? We are those servants, hey, right? Uh, speaking about the boss, what, what a boss does, he, uh, he, he's currently hiring new people, but he's also firing new people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, God. That's what a boss does. And yep. that's what happens a lot of time in Passover season. You have a yep. lot of men that get kicked out, you know. And then new food comes. New food comes in. Yep. Yep. Bug outs come, you know. They come, come and go. They come, they come up, and you see bugged out doctrine. You see men defiling, um, you know, the, the, the facade, you know, um, as far oh, as the party spirit, yeah, the party spirit the you know, the, uh, wrestling matches, rap contests, you know. Yeah. You know, it says, uh, yeah, glamour, uh, uh, making merchandise of the, of booty, the booty, booty, booty short stripper dances, you know, oh, booty God. short strippers, you know, so on and so forth. During the Passover? Yep. Yeah. The yeah. night, the night of the Passover, which is a Shabbat, you know? Oh, God. Yeah. A solemn assembly. Solemn means serious, okay? You know, it's not, not cheerful, because if you look and, at any of the accounts, it's like, I didn't even no, no, get it, get it, get it. And that's not camp banging if you correct these guys, man. You know? Psalms. Um, 96 and 14, who will stand up for me against the evildoers? It, it might be 94 and 16. Again, what is nope. it, a, yeah, but what is it about? It's about your Shai. It's yeah. not about your, you know, we learn from the men of GMS, but it's not about the camp men. Okay, because even before GMS, what did you have? You had Abba Vivis. It wasn't, you know what I mean? It's not camp thing in this correction, Yeah, man. exactly. We need to get, uh, the men who get offended at men getting on these guys, get out of that effeminate bitch-made spirit, man. Yeah. You know, because what was Yahweh Shai doing when we when he went to the temple and men were making merchandise of his father's house? Was yep. that camp banging? Yep. Well, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai he uh, he reduced the seven churches of Asia Minor. Oh, that was camp banging. That, that was camp banging. That's what, he, he was rebuking <laughs> you know, camp, so to speak. What? He rebuked us. Yep. You, know, you know what I mean? Us, everyone that's in the truth. Yeah. He rebuked. Every day we're being rebuked. Yep. None of and, and those that have that that proud spirit like Esau, Edom. Are going to be thrust through. Well, it, says that. A, or <laughs> it says uh, Jeremiah 48 10, Cursed be he that doeth the will of the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. You can't be afraid to get some spiritual blood in your sword, baby. You know, <laughs> this is this is spiritual blood, man. And a lot of men have way more beat up apocryphal Bibles. I see elders out here, they got literally uh, one page hanging off, like, uh, 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 what's the top? Hanging with like, like Rakha, the other Rakha, you, man, this, this sword is beat up. But yeah. that's a lot of spiritual blood that's been put on that sword, man. You can't, aff you can't be afraid to get on these guys, man. You know? And we don't, we don't come out here with the, oh, we don't, you know, it's, it's not cardinal. It's, 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 yeah, it's the spirit, man. It's the spirit that gets on men to get on these guys, man, because we're getting that much closer to the end. And as we're getting closer to the end, those guys are a part of the movie, Wax but getting golden. on them is a part of the movie as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, the book of Titus, it says, reduce them sharply. So that yeah, they may be sound in the faith. Because you have men dwelling amongst them who are, who are of the elect. And they're going to have to hear stern correction. They're going to have to hear sharp rebuke. Yeah. And brothers don't come out here and say, hey, we're going to get on this camp. No. We're going to get on this camp. You know, most of the time. And rebuke doesn't come out. Yeah. Um, rebuke comes out like, hey. Yeah. You know? Hey, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Nick, nigga, I'm talking to you. Yeah. You know? And what authority does he yeah. have? <laughs> yeah. Authority on the Yeah, because you're higher side. Yeah. Call them what? Vipers and Scorpions? Oh, how about you yeah. outside? He didn't beat around the bush when it came to, you the know, doctor. naming names. He word. said, I, I do me. My sword shall be bathed in heaven. It shall come down upon who? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do me. Yeah. He called names out. You know, Ezekiel the 36th chapter. Yeah. For the enemy has said, Aha, uh -huh, even the ancient high places are ours. Yeah. You know, he yeah. spoke about Call, He called them by name in 30, the 30, uh, the 36th chapter in the fifth verse. You know, and then Psalms 2 it says, I do me. It shall be in derision. Yeah. He will make uh, make mockery and also uh, Proverbs like 1 and 22. Psalms 83. Yeah, we'll, we will laugh. He called them all out. Family, yeah. All those nations, yeah. all our enemies, man. Because yeah, they're laughing at us called, right uh, now. Funny, it's probably the fox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, <laughs> he's too, you know. Yep. Well, he, he said that about uh, who's that? Uh, uh, the king, the king, uh, the king's son, Herod. Oh yeah, yeah, it was Herod. Yeah, Herod. And exactly. the reason why he uh, called Herod a fox is because Herod looked like a Jake because uh, he may have looked like a Jake, but he uh, because of his mother. His mother was an Israelite, mm -hmm. so he came out, you know, looking yeah. maybe like this brother, uh, or you know, mean? a different example, or maybe came out looking like uh, Elder. Uh, Bishop Manasseh, or Griffin. maybe maybe you look like me. Yeah. You know, my skin color. My, the my thing skin is, color. he looked like we look like one of us. Yeah, yeah he looked like the the typical, uh, you know, Judah Jake. or the typical yeah typical. And that's Jake. why you called him a fox. But again, you had his parents. lineage went back to Esau, man. Mm -hmm. And that shows you again the spirit, and, it, and also it shows you uh, the woman is not 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 who you are. Yeah. Okay, it's it's a man. So right here I ended on this Revelation yeah. three and eleven. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Huh. Okay, so if you got this wisdom, you know, and this understanding, you know, you, you have a, you have a crown. Okay, but you got to hold on to that crown. Okay, and that goes with a lot of things. You know what I mean? Being meek and lowly. You know, and um, and not not boasting in yourself, because they that what exalt themselves shall be abased. They that humble themselves shall be exalted. Okay, and we're praying that we're able to live. Yahweh, if it was his will, take that cup. 
Okay, showing you that he, he, he didn't boast in himself, even though he had power. Right? This is about yeah. 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's what you're seeing. It's the power, um, the power transfer from the nation of Esau, even the so-called white man, and his constituents, the ten horns, and all the people who are reigning one hour with the beast, to the sons of God, man. And that's power in itself, knowing who your adversary is, knowing, knowing who your op well, is, knowing, who know, you knowing what's gonna, knowing what's gonna happen, yeah. man. And knowing who no. you are, knowing who you are. You, in, you were in gross darkness. We, I never heard of a, a Israelite. You know what I mean? And I lived in New York. You know, I never even you know what I mean. But again, again showing you that the men. Uh, that shows, um, you about, power, that shows you the power of the Lord. Yep. You're in San Diego. He can bind you or he can uh, You're in San Diego your in the middle of the Issachar land. And this is Issachar's land. Yep. You know, after they came from uh, uh, Samaria, which is the capital of northern Israel, they fled to um, the Americas. You know, 2nd Esther 13 chapter. And we I went to that account of what happened after they left Samaria. You had heathens that moved into the land, 2nd Kings the 17th chapter. 23 to like 29 and it talks about how those heathens were ate up by lions and they sent a priest in the land and then generations upon generations upon generations later you had the woman at the well who thought she was an Israelite but she was a heathen because of the king Shalomaneser who moved the heathen who it's like he moved the heathens into the land man you know this is a uh, Sirach 10 and 8 because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches got by deceit Great Robert Lerner. Yep, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Why is earth and ashes proud? Talking about Esau. That goes into uh, Romans 9 when it's speaking about the, the potter. Yep. You, the potter, you think that the potter doesn't have a power over over the clay? Yep. Okay, one that dishonor, which is Esau, Edom, and two-thirds of our people, and one to honor, which is the elect and the remnant. It says that in the book of Sirach, the 33rd chapter. Uh, Sirach 33. Yep, Sirach 33 and 13, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as he please, it's like it, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to <laughs> render them as like it the best. That's right. You know? That's how about sending our side. Come yeah. This is a. Uh, what was that book? That say rank eleven. Uh, thirty-three and thirteen. Can I back you up with this one real quick? Yeah, this is uh, Romans, <laughs> Romans nine and twenty. We're talking about that. Oh, you yeah. already brought it out. Yeah, we're yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Uh, Romans nine and, and twenty. Yeah. Nay, yeah. but O oh, man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Yep, and that's what Esau Edom does. Yeah. He puts a tranny out there as the uh, board of health. Yep. You know, that's, that's what he does when he puts the LGBTQ XYZ nasty people in your face and makes bills that say, don't say gay. You know, we'll call the, the Rainbow Coalition who they are. Flaming, uh, flaming, flaming, uh, flaming, 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 fanooks, fanoits, most, most, fanoits, yeah. like, yeah. like the, like the Italian brother said, man. You know, and blame it for noise, man. Just real quick, bro, because when you go into that word, the name Agag, which yeah. is the Amalekite, when you go into the modern Hebrew, it says, all gay. Okay. All gay. <laughs> all gay. Yeah. And that's Esau Edom's nature. He's a violent homo, man. And again, those are proud ashes that we see in yeah. Ecclesiastes uh, 10 and 11. That's why Paul had to write those letters to the Church of Rome, because they were following after the practice of the Edomites. And the Edomites are nothing but violent homos, man. Yep. You know? And this is uh, Rome 2.0, Babylon yep. the Great. Everything that you see, going back to Washington, D.C., uh, you know, Mount Tier, okay? Um, uh, 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 Petra. Yep. The okay? Infrastructure. You have the infrastructure, yep. how it's built. Then you have what? The, um, you know, Las Vegas, they have the um, Egyptian uh, pyramids. Over there in, uh, yeah, over there in uh, Memphis, you have the, oh, the, the Lennox. Yep. Okay? So, and then, um, so all these different things. And, of course, their philosophy. The Transformers, man on man, woman on woman, Rome 2.0. Oh, Vegas, the Lush Store. Yeah, the Lush, yeah, cut. Yeah. This yeah, is, uh, yeah. yeah, MGM Grand yeah, Street. Cut, yeah. Yep. And that's all to put that, uh, that's vibration. all to put that vibration of Egyptians and Egyptology. Oh. And if you go into the fathers of Egyptology, they're all Edomites, man. Yep. You know? And what is well, that? Most, most of them are Amalekites, small right. hats, man. Right. And that's to try to put that, that, uh, lie that we go back to Ham. We don't go back to Ham. They're too, they're, they're totally 
different than us, man. We just broke it down earlier. Yeah. Uh, Ham, uh, they're not related to the so-called Negroes. The yep. And yeah. if you take it one step further, those doo stinking ass Hamites were the ones that sold us into slavery with the towel heads, man. It talks about that in the book of Joel, the third chapter. You know, O ye Tyre and Zidon and the coast of Palestine yep. that sold Judah to the Grecians. Yep. They sold us to Esau, man. Yep. And Amalek had a uh, had a monopoly on the timber, man. If yeah. you go into the history of that, it was the Mali Empire, you know, um, the, the, the people, the Watusi people. Uh, I think about Eastern Africa. Yep. That's where we have Ethiopia. If you go, if you go, uh, there's a there's a, a picture that goes into the captivity of Israel, and the last one is talking about the uh, Mali Empire and the people who lived in the interiors of Africa, man, who we ended up uh, following after their gods, and that's why we got jacked up. Right. If you go into uh, the 1727 slave map, it actually has an uh, area called the Kingdom of Judah, Kingdom of J U D A. Yeah. That shows you that Jake was out yeah. there. Thinking he was thinking he had it made in the yeah, kingdom yeah, already, yeah. you know. But it was a part of the story that we would have to be rounded up off the shores of the west coast of Africa to fulfill Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Huh. And we, you know? we also to show you that uh, you know e yep. Esau yep. Edom is not done away with. The self-proclaimed white man is not done away with. Because again, what is Las Vegas called? Sin City. Yep. Yep. And what is it? What does it promote? Gambling, uh, you know, um, you know, prostitution. Sodom and Gomorrah. Against Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, then you have all the, um, you know, the gambling, which comes with what? Comes with corrupt souls, okay? Um, this is uh, the last, this is the, the empire I'm talking about. It talks about the Africans and the Arabs from 1500 to 1600 A.D. Yeah. And you said, it says, read Joel, Joel 3, 1 through 8. It's all good work yeah, for right. this time. Yeah. It talks about the kingdom of Dahomey and Mansa Mansa, Amoravids, and of the Mali Empire in Timbuktu. Babylon, Timbuktu. Right. No, that's where they got some issues. They got some issues that they're talking about. Yeah, well, I was going to bring out. Are we repeating something? Let me get this real quick. They're speaking about uh, Elam. Uh, no, not, not Elam, but um, they feel Hamites, how, how they're not the people. They're showing the people. Read Joel, read Joel the third chapter. You already got it. No, we're good. Because, you know what I mean? Cameron, I mean, Cameron's still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameron's still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nighttime. The camera lasts all night. The camera lasts all night. Uh, Joel, uh, Joel 3, let's get 1 down to 8. Joel 3, verse 1, yep. down 3. Okay, there's the prophet Joel, chapter 3 and verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah, Yahweh, yep. and Jerusalem, yep. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shepherd. Which, which is uh, starting to happen right now, because in the area of Dombas, if you draw a straight line and go south, yeah. it's right in the valley of Yahweh Shaphat. You know, yeah. as all these things yeah. are happening, as uh, Jamjack gets pushed, as uh, Ukraine launches uh, war assistance, uh, central bank digital currency, universal basic income, right. as they're looking to crash the dollar, as they're looking to get rid of the petrol dollar, as there's uh, pushes of Taking this uh, this this form of media off of uh, the internet, RT News, you know, brothers, uh, channels getting hit left and right, you know, uh, Egyptian against the Egyptians, the the uh, the, uh, the the convoy coming out to D.C., you know, unrighteous decrees in Canada, Jake just lost in the sauce, man, you know, and of course he has a dreadlock. This is the New Compact Bible Dictionary, okay, the New Compact uh, Bible Dictionary, which is from a Zondervan book, and, um, you know, so this is all across, you know what I mean, they, they write all, a lot of the Bibles, okay, so it says Ham, it says, uh, yeah, when you go into that word Ham, it says the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the regenerator of the dark races, not the Negroes. Okay, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. Ham. And we went into Ham earlier. He's a homo too. Yep. Because he was staring in on Noah's nakedness, man. Yep. You know? According to the law, it's a sense to look at your father or your mother's nakedness. Yep. It says, not the Negroes, right, which are the Hebrew Israelites, yep. right, but the Egyptians and Ethiopians, Lebians, and Canaanites. Yep. So, it says right there. 
But yeah. also, they took us. The gold is mine, the silver is mine. Yeah, the gold is symbolic to the southern kingdom, and the silver is symbolic to the, uh, the northern kingdom. Huh. Judah and Ephraim. It says, and uh, yep. one step further, Belshazzar, what was he drinking out of um, in the book of Daniel, the fifth chapter, before he got the writing of the wall? He was drinking out of the yep. gold cup yep. and the vessels that were in the actual temple, man. They got stolen from and the And the hand sent them a message, many, many tekel person, you know? And that's what we're doing through the spirit. We're sending Esau, Edom, a message, you know? Many, many tekel person, yeah. writing, the writings on the wall. You're through. You're wanton. Yeah. You've been found insufficient. Your kingdom is numbered. It's finished and it's about to be handed over to the Israelites. Uh, yep, because your sins have reached the heavenly yeah. Father, okay? And that's our Revelation 18. Uh, and and because you have drinking of that cup, just like we drink of that cup, but you're gonna get, you're gonna receive double, okay? For whatever that you've done, you rape, rob, and murder, but it's gonna be unrighteousness, right? So back to Joel chapter three verse five, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it into your temples by goodly pleasant things. Verse 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. Uh, you know, keep up with the God, God. this is uh, Joel, chapter 3 and verse 6 in the and NLT. the Grecians are the Edomites. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I believe it says that. Yep, this is uh, Joel, say, yeah. <laughs> Joel 3 and 6. You have sold the people of Judah and Jerusalem to the Greeks. To the Greeks. Yeah. <laughs> and the Greeks, we know they go back to Edom. Yep, you know? the apostle says that. Yep. Yeah. So they could take them far from their homeland. Verse 7. Uh, no. Let's get uh, Sirach 10 and 8 and down to 10. And, and again, we'll it's power up. to know who your enemy is. Okay, yep. That's power that Yahweh Shemar Shai is giving you. This is Sirach 10 and 10. The physician cutteth off a long disease. And who's that long disease? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. And he that today is a king, tomorrow shall die. For <laughs> when a man is dead, he shall inherit creeping things, beasts, and worms. Yep. The beginning of pride is when one departed from his maker, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and his heart is turned uh, away. Like the beginning of pride, the beginning of pride, uh, Sirach 10 and 13, Sirach 10 and uh, 12, Sirach, Sirach 10 and 12, Sirach 10, it's been a long day. <laughs> the beginning of pride is when one departed from Yahweh, and his heart is turned away from his maker. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it, shall pour out abomination. And what has this man done? Pour out abomination upon abomination upon abomination upon abomination. You know, that filthy, uh, that that whore, you know, that rides upon uh, the beast, man. Yep. The, the, you know, upon many waters. Yep. Yeah, the many mother waters. of, uh, the mother of uh, harlots, you know, an yep. abomination. Revelation 17 and 5. Yep. You want to get something uh, over the Babylon, uh, yep. Revelation 17 and 5. Yahweh Shai, um, Shai being in that position to cut off that long disease, which is Esau, Edom. Okay, because again, all the things that he's done, great Robin murder, even stealing our own heritage, saying that they are the people, just look at them, you know, right. you can see it's true. <laughs> Sirach 10 and 13, for pride is when one, like it, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. I'm going to let you get that, I'm going to get two more. Wait, it says, right uh, strange calamities, what are examples of strange calamities? Guys of Egypt. Guys of the old time high. Yep. Inflation, hyperinflation. Yep. Yep. There's gonna be uh, just like it was yep. in uh, the time of uh, the time of the the Exodus, right? Or what? What was it? There was uh, there was apparitions. There was ghosts. Okay. People are gonna start waxing colder and colder. Okay. Even in this time, people are gonna start bugging out. Why? Because they trusted in um, uh, East, yeah, they trusted in their oppressor. Yep. Okay. You already see the effects of the, of that thing that happened a couple years ago. You see people bugging out. Why? Because they trusted in um, the, the, that long disease, right? So there's the book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of all harlots, the lot, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. The mother of all harlots and abominations of the earth. This is Sirach 10 and 13. And, and, wh and why, why is that? Because all the all these captivities, the Babylonian cap captivity, the Medo Persian captivity, the Egyptian captivity, all these captivities are, are Rome. This is Rome 2.0. All yeah. of them are here. Okay, that's right. showing you that, that that is that great whore. That um, yeah, that's why it's called great. Water. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is uh, Sirach 10 and 14 and 15. I'm gonna get yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get uh, 16 and then we'll wrap on up. The Lord Yahweh Shem Shai cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. 
the Lord, Yahweh Shai, hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place. Going back to Ezekiel 17 and 24, and also uh, Sirach 10 and 14, you can match that up with 1 Corinthians uh, 1 and 27. 1, 1, in, uh, no, 1 Corinthians 2 and uh, uh, I believe 5. You know? 1 Corinthians 2 and 6. Can you get that, brother, yeah. real quick? Yeah, because it's, it's, again, it's, it's, well, the, the word I was speaking on 1 Corinthians 1 and 27 was speaking about the base things that have been set up in yeah, this yeah. world. And that's again found the wise. But okay. it also talks about the princes, yeah, uh, yeah. those princes that come to not. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It says the, uh, the letter to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2 and 6. Yep. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yep. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to not. The princes of this world that come to not. Yep. That's Esau, Edom, those proud princes. This yep. is Sirach 10 and 14. And it reads, the Lord had cast down the throne of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. And it said in the book of Matthew, the meek shall inherit the earth. Yep. This is Sirach 10 and, 14, uh, and 15. The Lord had plucked up the roots of the proud nations. Roots. What, what is trees made of? Roots. And, and also known as that Green Bay tree. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I see many trees walking. Yep. I, I've exalted the, the low tree and cast down the high tree. Yep. And then that branch. Yep. The, 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 yeah. Yeah, the branch, the vine, the vine. Yep. We brought that uh, last This is uh, Sirach 10 and 15. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, has plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted. What do you do? What do you do with trees? You plant them. And planted the lowly in their place. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth and what was done to the egyptians well once the egyptians were taken into power they were never brought back into power man and once the modern day egyptians are taken into power they'll never rise to power again yeah man. pharaoh and his army rode right into those waters yep because then they, they closed so that miracle that one body in satan was talking about okay pharaoh's pharaoh's whole army went into that too now if you go into that word divided in uh, Exodus 14 and 9, let's just get that real quick. Exodus 14 and 9? Yep, go okay. to the blue letter. Yeah, because uh, Pharaoh's army was all ridden into that um, into those waters, okay? So the land was still there, but they didn't have no army to be able to protect them, right? And that goes into Yahweh uh, Shema Asad being that, Psalm 91, being that refuge and being that shelter. Because we don't want to get caught up in those waters, right? Those waters, and, and when Esau Edom comes oh, in like yeah. a flood. Let's see what you're writing. Because he's going to be like a madman sparing none. He's not going to have no respect for no person, right? Okay. Go into that word, the Bible. Read the precept and then go into the Bible. We'll wrap on that. Here's the, the book of Exodus 14 and 16. For lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Yep. Now that word divide, in the Hebrew, it says and divide it. Yeah, real quick, this is uh, when we're speaking about the, the uh, to divide, 
Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So again, this word right now is it's just like dividing, it's yeah. like dividing of the sea. So the it's right, dividing the, the, the biblical of honor with the biblical yep. dishonor. Yep. And then that great, that great sifting, because first he's coming with the men of the Lord that shall consume him with a fire, and then he's going to come with that physical sword. Exactly. Okay? He just came out of the ocean, bro. Fully clothed. Fully clothed. Fully clothed. She's got to be freezing. So I don't wrap this all. You all wrap this all. You can find this camp. You found this camp session edifying. And in closing, I uh, would like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechad with us. Give a double honor to the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. And all the wall to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the men, women, and children listening and learning from the servants of prophets, the Ahom Bashim Yahashai, and the hearty Shalom to the sincere brethren doing the work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. All across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. So, uh, Adon Rathazai, Yahom Rathazai, you were edified by the camp session. And until next time, next live stream, next camp session, Shalom, DTA, Wa Ababa Ba. So, 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 so,